In Liberia, November 1944, a public spirited person was born. Joseph Numa Wakai from Wasanga, Foya District, Lofa County. He is a role model. He's actually my inspiration. He's also a perfect example of humility. He's a very humble person. Through that puppy. The heavy start giving all from this one here. I know that when he get there, he will help me. He will help the nation. In Liberia. Oh, man, what, what are you doing here? I can't sell. You selling? What are you selling? I sell it trousers. I see you. I see your car. I see this car in your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very much disappointing in the whole part there. Uh, uh, and our president also. For the moment, I'm no more a civilian. I remember I'm an independent candidate now. But why you get the, the card? I mean, I see your, you know, from my, I see this guy, is uh, I see this guy, Adika. Yes. All right. But uh, 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 tell me, uh, why, why are you disappointed in the president? Why you say disappointed? You no, you no longer a sedition. Yeah, the president take our country to be to be a joker country. Like how? Leave our country. Everything hard. People not taking pay. They have the money. Care for that goes for it. But the man said in negotiating yesterday, he was able to speak to you know. Uh, some of the government officials of Qatar and they're thinking about how they can, you know, ask something on, on local country rule. Yes, so they are living evidence on Carrasco in post. They are in post. They are on ticket in, in Quadra to watch football game. And I, and I don't think Carrasco can look at own money, own personal money in post. They are on country money in the sporting. So what's your own advice here? Because you are a sedition and I see your, your ID card. What's your advice to the president? You stay your president. My advice to the president is you should, you should stay strong for 20 to the day because we are going there. We need to take from there. Yeah, you should stand, you should stand strong. So, when I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and stay there. I'll let you have one job. My people, where you at? Where you at? Wake up on your stomach, stop sleeping. Uh huh, uh huh. Whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now, you gotta wake up some more, yeah? Okay, let's go.
Ali, um, um, Tia, are you guys there? We oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let me play one more song and then uh, we'll get this uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we yeah, we yeah, we yeah. We'll get this thing rolling. Let me uh, play a song and we'll get this thing. Uh, we'll get this thing rolling. It's a good day to be alive. There is a game, and everybody's supposed to play, but everybody again is one man, and that one man is all as a moment, what a yeah, because he's a super player, I know, because he's a brilliant player, that's right, on a opposition setting. Double defense, hey. the triple defense. Hey. But a man walker is not the time on his defense. He's warming up, uh. my man is warming up. Check it. Yeah, he's jogging, hey. jogging, uh. jogging. Hey. And the crowd yeah. is cheering. Wow, the one I have. But the whole thing I want to tell you, Bobby, the chocolate and defense. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Papi Chakla, their defense. You know this song, yeah? When uh, when something I was writing this song, I don't know what uh, he was, uh, he was, uh, he was doing it like a fortune teller, you know? Um, and this song is evergreen, as they say, it never gets old. Um, Papi Chakla, their defense. <laughs> Papi Chakla, plenty, plenty defense as we as we head towards october today is friday the 27th day of uh, january the year 2023 we're glad to be in class today um i see a lot of our students already seated so welcome to class see a lot of people on the front row seat uh, today will be an interesting day we'll look at uh, some trending national issues across the country um yeah in the u.s there have been some really 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 troubling news uh, many of you already know we've shared them on the class we know that we will we will speak about them today. Um, and uh, it's the weekend. Today is Friday. Uh, um, last night, I uh, haven't been feeling a little too okay. I was uh, I was um, a little under the weather, but I'm happy that I am feeling much better today and we can do the show. Let me say welcome to Pastor Mo. Welcome to Mo Ali. Welcome to, of course, our ever-potent Jerry Limnick, Matthew, here i see uh, most of our students watching from across the u.s new jersey uh delaware maryland california you name it i see people watching from as far as turkey uh there in africa texas yeah in the u.s and the ERWA rehab We're watching from minnesota all across all across the world today will be a very interesting show we will we will um i see somebody say more <laughs> let me see uh t t t mac Mark, Mark, he said more transfer <laughs> from 
full TV loaded. I know we in the transfer season, my brother. Um, there'll be a lot of crossover as we head towards October. Just pay attention. That's all. Just pay attention. Um, one of the things we we try to do in the class, as always, is to um is to be as factual as we can to speak the truth uh, and nothing but the truth. Um, we we make it our business here to hold public servant and of course everyone involved in the political process of our country accountable. We try as much as possible to um, to speak to the facts concerning the news. Um, let's say um, to all of our radio stations, Scaring Odds Live, uh, Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1 in Montserrado County, Premier FM 98.1 there in Grand in, in, in Banga, Bon County, Radio Dupa FM 98.89.1 in Grand Basso County, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Vonjaman, Radio Joe Africa FM 97.5 in Margibi, and of course, Voice of Compa FM 106.5 all the way there in Compa City in Nima County. On tonight's edition, we will look at the uh, trending issues uh, across affecting Liberia, trending issues, and then um, the, the, we'll look at, there has been a recent development involving the uh, the CEO of uh, Spoon Network. And it is only but fair that we come on this show here to talk about what we know based on the facts of the story that are out there. I think as as uh, panelists on this show, we have a fiduciary responsibility to our listening public to present the story as we know based on the news. Uh, we'll dig deep into it. We'll see how um, that scheme has affected a lot of family across the U.S. Uh, many of those nurses are, are part of that scheme ended up in in, in, in hospitals, and then who knows, some of them might have helped to fast track the deaths of a lot of people, especially during the pandemic period when the hiring protocol for nurses was a little relaxed due to the, um, the severity of the pandemic. So there were a lot of flexibility in how to hire nurses instead of because people with nurses, you know, the, the pandemic were raging hell, killing people. So those are things we have to look at. And, 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 and those of us who hold government accountable must also be held accountable. That's how the game works. Those of us who hold government accountable must also be held accountable. So as we hold government feet to the fire, as we push our law, our, 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 those who govern the state to act in ways that are respectable, that are, that are decent, that are uh, of integrity, we too, as those bringing these news, must exhibit that same level of integrity, because for us to be taken seriously on this show, we have to be people who, in our own private lives, in our own day-to-day -day life, must be people who've demonstrated integrity. You know, um, it wouldn't look fair if I came up here with, with, with condemning people like Miguel Twe, Twewe and other people in government, uh, and, 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 and I myself too, you know, it's, it's, it's from guilty of similar act. I don't think that's fair. Uh, we have, um, we have a, a very, 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 very critical role to play in the political forward march of our country. In, in, we must move our nascent democracy into a place where we all can be proud of. We all must be held accountable. And let me say thanks to the CSCC also. You know, CSCC, they got one by Martin Cully, been doing the local, they've been doing the Liberian, you know, um, and you know, on uh, Liberian own credential audits, um, even though they keep the thing only on Liberians, uh, this other news here <laughs> is bigger than just the Liberian CACC. This is something involving the uh, the FBI, the Ministry of the Department of Justice. It's a very big case. Um, if you are thinking that this is some of your Morovia cases, I'm sorry, my friend, you you're in for for a surprise. This is a serious matter. It's on all the news, ABC, CNN, all the news network you can think about. This is a serious thing. The reason it's serious is because it involves lives. It involves lives. And the reputational damage to the industry. You know, the, the thing is, all of us here on this show will have an encounter with a nurse more than 50 times in your life. And so you don't want to interact with a nurse whose credential is on a question or whose um, qualification it poses bricks to your living to your own well-being and and, and and I'm sure a lot of family have been affected by some of these uh, uh, unfortunate incidents and don't be surprised when you see a barrage of lawsuits 
coming out, especially against those hospitals that hire some of these nurses. Uh, Delaware, as we know, also today we'll talk about it has uh, uh, script the degree of 26 nurses who graduated from some of those phony schools. Um, and uh, you're talking about 7,006 of them, 600 of them across the U.S. So we'll, I know they'll be picking, they will be dropping them. And, and the chain reaction, we'll get into that with chain reaction. We'll talk about what will happen, what we think will happen. But uh, without much ado, let me proceed with the show on trending issue. Let me begin, of course, with uh, Pastor Mo, Mo Ali and then um, our own Jerry Limnick, Matthew Pia. Pastor Mo, what's yeah. trending? You haven't worked with our guests, so uh, anyway... <clears throat> Our view. Anyway, <clears throat> today is an, is an interesting day. I want to thank God. I'm sorry. Let me let me let me welcome all of our students in class. I I miss it. The, the juice the juice too heavy. If you're in class, please say presence so that I can. Write. I see Clara. I see Alita. I see Nebet, Gotcha, Emmanuel. I see Prince Jacobs. I see Paco. I see Prince Prince. I see Paco Robert Simeon. Let me see who are watching. Just a present so that I can record. I see my own brother Darlington. Darlington, my man, you got to test side. I can't on the show now. I have to I'm sitting on the fence. I see Tay all the way there in UAE, Mini Packer, uh, Nathan, Rudolph Jala, Augustus King, Praise Praise, uh, Abraham Davis, uh, Ente Grayson, Morris Vanning, Joseph Precious, Harvey, Musa. I see Marion Bridges, MCK. I see Dr. Dr. Asik Flomo. Moses Kenna, Susan, Dauda Kasulu, Tenant Kopo, uh, Bidel Broble, um, I see Isaac, Joseph Ketor, Moluba Stevens, Visa, Nya, Rita, Lawrence, Adolphus, Alvin, Augusta, Rogers, Sam Zor, Philip Moba, Janje James, Geraldine Tukwe, Jefferson, Humbo, I see Humbo Seth, Siafat, Safatu, So, Masale, Andrew, what's up, Andrew, um, Alexander Kedier. Um, Geraldine, Joshua, uh, Joshua Russell, what's up, my brother, Clara, Mia, Alexander, Musa, I mean, uh, Kelvin, Joshua, Aloysius Harris, James, uh, John Green, Lawrence Butler, Kelvin, uh, Momo Sandy Manning, uh, Geraldine Emmanuel, Henrietta, Morgan, uh, Fakwa Kata, I mean, Teofilas, George Galliman, Victor Spencer, uh, Samuka Donso, A.B. Kumar, Political Copa Passaway, what's up, my brother? Um, Abraham, Tanu Jala, Isaac Flomo, Josephine, Gloria, Felix, Samuel Wu, James, Jones Dumba, Ben Tamba, Sylvester Johnson, uh, Moses, Dauda, Clarence Benson, D, D. Clay Boto, Wilfred Walker, uh, Sarafina, uh, Eden, Nelson, Jones Dumba, Matthew Clotte, Joseph, Wilma Twer, Amos Cannon. I mean, everybody, Geraldine, Gerardo, Gerald, Vining, Ernest Smith, what's up, uh, track? Uh, Chokong Ba, Mebe Tupa, uh, Chokong Ba, Luce Aku, Erickson Soma, uh, Moses, uh, 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 everybody, Elizabeth, Joseph Saki from Kakata, watching Amos, uh, 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 Aaron Preston, uh, Phoebe uh, Warite, uh, Abosio Do, and everybody, Aziz Tokbosin, what's up, my man? Your first time in class, well, get, get ready to take notes. Um, there are lots of things here we're about to unpack. Uh, Habaku, um, Isaac Molu, uh, and everybody, you know, um, Visa and everybody, I'd like to say welcome to you all. Uh, it's without you, we can't be here. Please share the show, invite someone to invite someone, and let us all have a wonderful day here today. Um, Pastor Mo, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I want to say thank you. I want to say welcome to everyone. I want to be grateful to God for another opportunity on another Friday. Uh, we are here in our good, healthy mind. Today, I believe it is going to be, I don't know how to express it, but uh, it's good that we are reading on the internet what is unfolding in America and in Liberia. I want to say welcome. We, we all know the training issues right now is what is, is being unfolded on the internet and around the U.S. on different local television stations and international television uh but for the liberian newspaper back home the daily observer the daily observer wrote and for the caption hairline spoon ceo water spoon hook in 140 million health care fraud 140 million health care fraud i hope i hope all 
we have length of time to discuss it because people need to know exactly what yeah. is the penalty. Yes, we're with training issues. Yes, thank you. Uh, and uh, um, also, a couple of days ago, I think last week, I spoke about the Liberian government waiving $23.5 million of taxing for government and its citizens from Western Cluster. Only a few individuals got together to waive that money. Interestingly, I see on the newspaper, on the Daily Observer, it says, government waiver of Western Cluster tax it backfire. So this means that that uh, 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 the lawmaker called the finance minister to explain what authority they have of reaching to the other two branches of government to, to explain why they have to waive 23.5 million taxes, money that the country should benefit from. Few people just got up and, and decide to have a waive. Also, in, in the Netherlands, there is a case that is going on with a Liberian by the name of Gabriel Massacre. Gabriel Massacre were, were investigated, was sent to court a few years ago that had to do with war crimes against humanity and against people in Liberia. He took appeal. The uh, court was unable to find him guilty. It is because of lack of evidence. When the people recall the case, they got to know that Gabriel's family members went to meet him. And when they went to meet him, they discovered that Gabriel had have written some information for the people to give to those who come into, who, who are about to testify against him, who mean was was in the case. So the 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 uh, 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 police officer went into the bathroom where where the guests used to visit the inmate, and they discovered that Gabriel have written down some names and some information given to his family members to go and talk to these people to testify that he will not that he will be acquitted. So these people will be going to Liberia on that case. Also, on Wednesday, I think it was on Wednesday or Friday, I spoke about a two years old baby that was killed in Bombing County. And uh, Mo Ali also spoke on that. Uh, 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 the child name is Samomo or Momosa in Bomikandi Swim Mecca. Six individuals was arrested. These six individuals, according to the front page Africa newspaper in Liberia, they said by, uh, a child body parts was found in possession of grandfather, mother, uncle implicated in, in, in gruesome murder of two years old boy in Bomi. And the reason why they said they sold this child, it is because of difficulty. I also have another story of a child in a, in a photo, but I'm not going to speak on our story yet. I need to get details on our story and we will bring it up front for us to understand. What is unfolding in Liberia, there's a lot unfolding in Liberia, and little children being victimized, little children being killed. And our government is insensitive. This is the reason why we cannot give this government another turn. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mo. Uh, Mo Ali. Thank you, Stephen. So uh, <clears throat> on Wednesday, I spoke about the tournament I am organizing for my district as part of the campaign and we talk about the jerseys and quite a few person have contributed towards that uh, venture i'd like to tell them thank you so kindly we have had donation or uh, contribution of about 500 us dollars towards that so i want to say thank you and i will still appreciate more help Stephen, my 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 trending issue basically is on again the western cluster issue um i saw in the newspaper today i think it was the inquiry newspaper that the senate has voted to halt the western cluster operation and i felt very happy i spoke with senator Dillon and another senator um 
they have said so basically the senators did not nullify the mda the mineral development agreement what they nullify is the mou that give the right to the western cluster to start uh, transporting iron ore mining iron ore and in that in that deal there were actually several portions of it that were violated and they could not have met all of the what was placed in the deal and so the bypass it by way of signing an mou that will give the western cluster the right to begin to to extract iron ores and transport it by road i didn't know or i still don't understand why the rush the government is supposed to be for the people the government is supposed to be for the country and the government is supposed to work for the country but we have a government that is working for foreign companies this deal was signed since i think 2011 that was during our time and in the mda there are certain uh milestones that should have been met before a single iron ore can be extracted uh from from Tottenham, cape mount or either of those places one of the cardinal issues was they needed to have done a complete environmental impact assessment on the route that they were going to transport the iron ore on and look at all of the 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 the, the hazard that that transporting iron ore by truck would have caused and also before they can start in my opinion you must start to construct the port at Bumboja in Cape Mount. You will also start to construct the, uh, the railroad. Nothing like that was done. No environmental impact assessment. And then suddenly we, we look, the bypass, <clears throat> sorry, the bypass everything and started transporting iron ore by truck overnight. I just wanted to say I'm very glad that the Senate has done such sorry let me drink some that the senate has uh nullified that mou is no longer going to operate the other trending issue that i have um you know when we see it people say oh but what you're doing opposition you can go do your own too we are opposition we are preaching for people to abide by the laws of this country and if the ruling government the ruling party is violating the law it doesn't give us the right to go and violate equally and we will not venture into violating the laws of this country we all understand that there are things in the street that were constructed or are there through the taxpayers money the light poles we see in the street did not come from mr weir's pocket the money that was used to construct those light poles did not come from the cdc's bank account those money are taxpayer money whether we credited it or not is the taxpayers that will pay when you take loan from outside the taxes we pay goes towards servicing those loans what they have done, Stephen Johnson, they've printed billboards of Josh Weir. They're having some funny something uh, in the coming days. And they've placarded those stuff on all of the, 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 the street lights. The lights that our money were used. You can public utility for your personal campaign. All the light poles along the road. They've done the you, you know these small small billboards and they put it everywhere. If other people did that, they will be complaining. They are so violent, they will take it down. We are highlighting this because it is absolutely wrong. And nobody should come tell me say, oh, but your opposition do their own too. When they violating the law, we cannot also violate the law. Because tomorrow, if we were to take over, then we will be caught in the same web. So we should begin to tell them to highlight 
these wrongs that they are doing. Go to the city hall, the Moravia City Corporation, pay for your spots, plant your billboard, and, and move on. You cannot be using the public street light to, to, to advertise your political activities. Thank you. So, you know, Ali, you, you, <laughs> you, just, you just took it from my mom. You said, nobody will say you're going to do your own. I, I was just about to tell you, let's do our own poetry and poetry and picture. Because the guys are in campaign mode. They campaign. They use the <laughs> They're using the state of the nation address to campaign for we are. Pia, can you me a second? All right. Yeah, they're using it. So I would think that the opposition political parties themselves are supposed to do theirs and, 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 and put their Uno banner up. Let, let, let's see now who will take it out. If you take ours out, we take yours up down. And that's how we do it. Ali, uh, 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 Musu says she sent you a message. Um... You should respond once you get it. Uh, so let go to let me go to Pia. Pia, what's coming from your end? Welcome. Well, it's going to be here. Yeah, thank you. Um, it is a good thing that we have all these um, different platforms, especially that speak directly to the people, because as we move towards the elections. There are people who have committed themselves already to try to deceive our people. And most of the folks in the print media are at the forefront of that. If you check the Liberian media today, you will see a couple of stories. And, 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 and I'm basically knowledgeable about these things because I worked. Yeah, you sound a little bit low to me. I don't know. It's the same machine, the same stuff, talking the same way. So I don't know if you say I'm low. You're good. Yeah, I don't know what's. what's Ali, maybe you need to adjust your volume a little bit, maybe. Yeah, because my my, my volume is only on the, the the last. So you see all these stories. I mean, when you see multiple stories in different newspapers, but the headlines are the same, then you know something is wrong. So I see a couple of headlines. We are success story. We are success story. We are four. We are five year development uh, achievement. You see, three, four, five newspapers having the same headline, same warning. What kind of miracle is that? So people are ready to start taking money now and think they can be. And thank God that the society, particularly the voting population, not many of them pay attention to newspapers. They rather live turn into the community radio station and hear what we're talking, or what Spoon will be talking, or what OKF will be talking, what Prime will be talking, what the different media or, or electronic media outlet will be talking and read newspaper. So the impact of what they're trying to do, which is very unfair to the country, you know, would not be felt. But the most serious training issue I have is that I, as we move towards the elections, I'm worried about Liberia. I'm worried because I'm worried because what we have as a judiciary is a mess. You know, America, where we all are, Stephen, this, this country is strong because the judiciary pushes back on things that will undermine the tenets of democracy. Imagine during the 2020 elections when all the trouble was going on. Most of the judges in some of the courts were appointed by the former president who was at the center stage of all that was happening. Those judges believed seriously in their oath they didn't see the need to commit themselves to an individual over the country. They always stood by the law. That's why you still have something standing today called America. You can't have that in Liberia today and survive. Look, when Councilor Eric Martin took his case to the Supreme Court, from where I said, I've been speaking to legal luminaries. 
masters of the law, people with deep understanding of the law. And many of them told me in our private conversation that it was totally impossible under no circumstance that every Martin would lose such a case. That the merit of the case was as clear as snow. But guess what? The judiciary that has committed itself to doing we as bidding, the judiciary that has decided to honor court the law and protect we are and his group went through that case that was as wet as snow and said, Council of Every Martin had no case and that the government won the case. The country is in trouble. That's why you see them arguing and their, their apologies will come in directly and be saying, when you have problem with the election to come, go to court. Nobody should hold the peace. Nobody should do that when you got it, won't go to court. They will comfortably tell you when you got problem, go to court because they know you will not get justice. And that they will always win in the court. Even if the election was rigged and you have all the evidences in preponderance, you go to the court, that very Supreme Court will tell you that your evidences are so, yeah, maybe, maybe there were some irregularity, blah, 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 but that's sufficient to overturn the whole kind of election. That is the kind of court we have, and that worries me. Now, most to the election. That worries me. And we should begin to pay attention to it. Look at what the president did. He won't ever be independent. Kabila Jani was on that court. They're chasing out. What did the president do when he when he, when he chased people off? We are just a number of ways on the court. President, we are trash men. Was named by President We are. When they chased Kabila Jani off because he didn't want the Maningo Board to open up on him, because you would have put another sort of East there though. But because you are taking the seat from the Mandingo people and you want, you know, flashback from the Mandingo people, he brought Kaba, who begs for him. When the Chief Justice left, we need a, a, another Chief Justice, what did he do? He grabbed the web of his close political ally now, Edwin Snow. When the other vacancy had to be filled, he was not looking at it from a holistic point. He was trying to please one of his political allies. And when Prince Jones started giving him hell, he started dragging his feet to commission that, 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 that the very justice he needed who was, who was confirmed. And when other sons and daughters and Nima started making it an issue that he was politicizing the commissioning of the justice, the point there. So when you have all the people on the hard court placed there on account of your different interests, you're in trouble. The law is not the one that will take precedence. It will be their resolve and commitment to protect we are. And that when they attempt to steal the elections and you go to that court, you're not going to get anything out of it. So you, you got to begin to, the people in opposition, you got to begin to show signs that when they play with the elections in the words of Charles Taylor, like he said to G. Henry Andrews, even the angels from heaven may not be able to save those who will want to do that kind of injustice to the country. Those who will want to trample upon the will of the people and do the bidding for a government that has failed massively. We got to play out. Look, the international community, community is doing a great job. I read what came from the State Department, the U.S. State Department, two days ago on Nigeria. You know, Nigeria is going to election next month, the 25th of February. And the U.S. government is clear that all those who will in some way try to undermine democracy in Nigeria, try to subvert the will of the people, and do things against the transparency and credibility of the election will be sanctioned by the U.S. They have said that one month to the election. That gives me hope that in a country like will do similarly. But as they're doing this, we got to complement ourselves. We got to be prepared to the extent that even if it means 
These people with a 2,000 army will care about it and kill us. But when they wreck the elections, even a 2,000 army should not have a ground to stand on. And they got to see signs from all that we mean and that's what, that's what we do. And that's the reason why some of us are getting out to get back home. We're not going to say that, bro, just say in a respectful act. We will be there. So the folks in that court got to listen. If you create hell in our country, even Jesus Christ will not protect you. You got nowhere to stand, you got nowhere to hide. You have better allow the will of the people to prevail in the elections that we are about to hold. If it is the will of the people that put we are there, the will of the people should be allowed to remove him. You in the court will not be the one to keep him there if the people don't want him. You are the election commission. Will not be the ones to keep it there when the people don't want it. All the nonsense you're doing, we're watching you. The other front page had to carry the story about you requiring national ID. And you knew that was nonsense. You got to rush to clarify. Because a national ID program that is that, that is that is cost intensive, you got poor people suffering. Where are they taking $10 for the go, to go people national ID? How decentralized is a national ID program that you want to use as a requirement for voting? So if you all said that from the Africa lie, it better remain there. You got a fire or playing whistle. Don't play with fire. And finally, I heard the former representative, my own friend, Wally Siwa, do not tell him the government like they will not deal with print justice. Do not know who they will deal with. They will deal with you. What's your influence in Nima? You're all sitting under prison, right? Or all of yours. You're a smart guy. You begin a representative. I think you went two terms. They tell one, you say, you're not running again. Prince, you say, okay, me, I will keep running. They keep me letting you. You say, they're not listening to you. Who am I listening to? You? Or who? So far, as I've been established and proven, Prince Joseph is a man who may not like him. I don't like him. But he's a man. It's proving that all of you guys, intellectual progressive brothers, you failed. And Prince has triumphed over all of you. So when you tell somebody, when I listen to your, your serious, what am I listening to? If you don't want to listen to Prince, you just stand up. Let's see the candidate you're bringing again, Prince Johnson, in October. You're going to win him. Then we'll take your serious. This is the man who got your whole government feet on the fire. There's a man who got your president laying down on his stomach and snake and licking the man's shoes. If a government fails to deliver, that what can happen? I remember in 2011 when Ellie was seeking re-election. Oh, the confidence was so high. We were so convinced that nothing would stop Ellie from winning. But for where you are, you even know where you are. You're backing Paul all over the place. You're backing Jamal Kuhn. You're backing Prince Johnson. You're backing Jim Barney. You're backing this person. Ellis Tata, who you're key, you're making somewhere. Who's there with the You're backing him all. Even though a part of your member, like your cars, those days were cars and money. Right now, you get a car, you get the money, everything gone. You get a member. You're backing him for what? What LPDP brings to you? But that's desperation. A government that knows that it has performed and will be really that cannot do what you're doing now. I'll stop there, Stevie. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Uh, uh, and I, you know, I know that. Um, so I was saying this thing about what Ali said earlier about this uh, banner thing. Um, I'll talk with the youth of the party. Let's see. I think that thing costs maybe five or six dollars. Let's see whether we will raise some money on this class here. We'll put Joseph Baga picture on our same thing and have the youth of the party to, to nail it on the scene like polls. Saba sa to that to that job. We are nonsense. We'll, we'll nail our own poster there with Joseph Waga picture on it. Saba sa on that nonsense on the left. But let's see who, who will be crazy enough to take that down. But Pierre, let I don't know what uh, let's go to the to the main um to our main conversation today. Pierre, are you there? Ooh, I don't know. But I mean, let's, let, let, let's, 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 I, I don't know what a PI is there. Oh, okay, PI there. All right. So, guys, let's go to our main conversation for the day. I, I, uh, uh, this has uh, been a trending news across the U.S. We woke up, um, yesterday morning to a very shocking news. Um, uh, um, it involves the, uh, 
the CEO of a uh, of a of a network, um, Spawn TV, um, Spawn TV network owned by Stanton Waterspoon, um, has been in the news, trending in the news, um, not just the news in Liberia, but I mean the American news um, for for something very, 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 very embarrassing. Um, as far as we know, the he ran a a nursing school that was issuing fake degrees to people who sought um, degrees in nursing. And these uh, fake degrees, as far as uh, the record shows, were sold for 15000 a apiece. Um, we also do know, based on the indictment, that uh, 7,600 of those uh, degrees were sold. Um, when you multiply 7,600 times 15,000, the minimum was 15,000. You're talking around somewhere around $114 million. $114 million uh, was was generated by these uh by these uh through this scheme. Um yesterday the FBI and the Ministry of Justice, the Department of Justice, as they call it in America, uh issued an indictment, an indictment against uh Stanton Witherspoon, the CEO of Spoon Network, uh on 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 charges of wire fraud and a list of other things. Uh, as far as the indictment also say, um, each person could face up to 20 years or more, depending on the uh, on what the judge will say. Uh, and so, but these are serious things. These are serious crimes. The reason they are serious is because it involves human lives. Um, a, a, a fake neck, a fake nurse is more dangerous than an arm robber. Let me just put it in context. A, a fake a fake nurse, nurse is far more dangerous than an arm robber. The reason a fake nurse is far dangerous than an arm robber is because the arm robber will come with a gun. You can barricade your horse. Um, you can have your own weapon in your house or you can have your security guard and you can try to prevent them because you know that they come in the night. You can put iron bars and other stuff to prevent them. In the case of a nurse, you go to, to them. You wake up not feeling well so you go to them for service and when you go to them for service they are privileged they are privileged with all of your information your heart rate your vital all your vital signs and most of the time in america here yeah, it is the doctors who after doing your examination will leave you in the care of the nurse so the nurse will be the meeting person in america yeah, the nurses are, are at the epicenter of the medical profession. They are at the core of the medical profession. They are not like uh, the people who just stay. They pretty much in the absence. Sorry, sorry, somebody was calling me. That few minute converse, that few minute conversation with the doctor, the nurses take over. In America, yeah, you see it. All through your 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 time in the hospital, you are essentially you're basically left with the nurses. So that's why nursing. Nursing, nursing profession here in America is a very serious profession, very serious profession. And let me say kudos to all of those nurses out there who went through the program sincerely. We respect you, we value your degree, you are a lifesaver. And you are the kinds of people that society need. Anybody who takes an oath to save life is somebody that we should respect. And so anybody who tries to denigrate, to bring this profession to public disrepute, to endanger the lives of people only because you are interested in the, in the benefits, the, mo the monetary benefit that accrues, then it becomes concerning. And oftentimes we've said here, times of our numbers, that it is better to live an honest life, work eight to five, nine to five, six to three whatever you want to do be honest make an honest living and 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 when we when we when we when we hold government accountable when we speak about the ills of society we too should be held accountable we who are the people bringing government feet to the fire must also be held to accountable we support a man whose philosophy is based on integrity joseph Baca, 40 years in government. And people laugh. When you talk about Joseph Walker being a, a man who lived you on loan, they laugh.
People laugh. We, we've seen them on some of these same shows. Laugh that because Joseph Waga said he lives on loan. It was funny that this man who served his country as vice president, minister of agriculture, uh, 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 LPRC boss, could not get money after all those years, but living on bank loan. People thought he was not, it was, was, was a fool. And they laugh. They laugh about it. And so it just shows how when we tend to be greedy, it backfires. It backfires. In Liberia, we say 99 day for robe but one day for master. And so when you when you when you want to be dishonored and you want to bring other people down, only because you've acquired wealth through illegal means, it backfires. God sees you. We live, the God is a God of justice. For those of us who are Christian, we know that God is a God of justice. And so those of you who come here and say, oh, you're not praying for people who steal money or people who, who go to Liberia, exploit our people or people who, government official who, 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 like McGill, you have pastors praying for McGill, for example. Pastors laying here, waiting all on McGill. When they see God say, thou shalt not steal. The same Bible tells you that that shall not steal. Then you, when you steal, then pastor go pray. I told somebody yesterday, you need 500 Nigerian pastors. If you read one day case to die, you need 500 Nigerian pastors. Other people live in this America, and as living, they push the cartoon. They go to work, double shift. Pastor here told you the other day he works sometimes 16 hours only because he wants to make an honest living. Other people go work in the, in the nursing home, do the late job, do the late job to feed their family. While other people sit in the comfort of the living room, use. Like Brian Man said, he crocodile means to acquire wealth. And then people say, oh, they are not talking about it, man. I pray God will bless people. God do not answer the prayers of crooks. I've said this, times of our numbers. And so let me play a clip. And this has been a very serious thing. And those of you who think this matter is a joking matter, you better think again. If you, if you, if you, if you think this thing is the, is the typical Liberian thing, oh, yeah, my man, after nine days, they will forget. Computer, don't forget in America, my man. People who even fight committed crime in World War II. Fight by 1940s. They have still been arrested in America. And let me just also say before I play the clip that whenever the FBI issues an indictment, chances of you being freed it's what we call a poison probability. A poison probability. Because before the FBI says, Stephen Johnson, you are indicted, it is a process. It is a procedure. So normally that investigation takes anywhere between three to five years. So they'll have all of the detail. It, and in, American, in America, yeah, they call it, that case is airtight and it is a slam dunk. When you see the statistics, and PR talk about it, 99.6% success rate of cases that the FBI presented and won, 99.6. Now, the remainder 0.4%, your survivability probability in there is 17%. Because all of that amount, 83% of the people who survive, 83% in a small percentile of people stay of indicted. And so your chance of survival is as small as the eye of a needle. And this is it. And so, if people think that we all should use illegal means to acquire wealth and help Liberia, there's something wrong with us. There's something wrong with us. And this is the kind of Liberia, look, we, we made mistakes. The previous government, we made mistakes, and this is why we think that this is the fair opportunity we have to 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 to, to correct some of the mistakes we made on the past. And if we must correct the mistakes of the past, we cannot keep doing business as usual. We are being asked Joseph Waka because he's a man of integrity. We hope that he will fix Liberia and that he will go after people who have exploited our country and looted resources.
That's why we be here. We don't be here bragger because we want jobs. What job? The job where they not cut those salary three, four times? Minister in Liberia making $3,000? That's some, that's some, some, some people want with money there. He work in America and I want with money there. He do feel all time. I want with money. But we be on this man so that we'll fix. And finally, the first way to fix this country is to fix the justice system, to go after people who have exploited our people, squander the, the wealth of the nation, and live in luxury, while the majority of our people live in abject poverty, destitution. This is the old, this is why we're in this. We're not in this because of jobs. We're in there because this is the only opportunity we have to fix Liberia for good, fix Liberia for our children and our children's children. This is the opportunity we have. See the other food men talking about you want job. The job I do in America, I can even hire a minister. If you really know the job I do in America, I can hire somebody, a minister in Liberia. So just get, yeah, just shut up here and just watch. Yeah, stay, stay, you got to remain focused on the show. Yeah, you want to be yeah, 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 yeah. comment and you get off track. <laughs> stay here. You don't yeah, want somebody yeah, to yeah. comment on your page and you black them, but when it's yeah. there. The fact that that person is angry with you, but they still got a patient who can't listen to you, tells you how stupid they are. So don't exactly. you recognize it. You got exactly. a very stupid and, person and, and, to go and listen happy. to something that has no hurt to me. Exactly. And I will be happy. And, and this is this thing with JB and other, but just CDC official, past and present, government official, everybody who thought he stole money before, and will take that thing. If I buy a child, DB King, they will take it there. Let's build this country. Let's fix our country once and for all. Let's turn a new page. Let's move our country into the direction that we all can be proud of. And so let me say this. When, 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 and let me play the clip. They, they, there's a news clip out there from uh, one of our, one of the uh, American news outlet on this central case. And this is a serious matter. Let's play the case. Let's play the, the clip. And our panelists will weigh in on this. This is a very serious matter. I want you to take a listen carefully at the news. Listen to the news as we play it. And then we will all gave our perspective on this matter. Just a second. Let me pull it. Connection to what federal investigators call a massive scheme to sell fake nursing degrees. We learned today that two Burlington County residents are among 25 people charged with operating the nationwide ring. Now, according to investigators, the group peddled more than 7,000 bogus degrees and nursing certificates to the tune of more than $100 million. Action News reporter John Paul joining us live in Camden tonight. And John, the Fed say some of these fake nurses put real patients in danger. Yeah, and that is the real concern tonight, Brian, that they may not have the background to actually treat people in a hospital-type setting. You know, I've confirmed tonight that Delaware actually annulled the licenses of 26 nurses already. And the feds tonight, they're charging people across the country, including two in South Jersey. All of us feel this is egregious. Strong words from the executive director of Delaware's Board of Nursing after learning of a massive scheme out of Florida to sell fake nursing degrees. And tonight, we've confirmed 26 nurses in Delaware had their licenses annulled in connection to the fake degrees. These people who went to these Florida schools did not complete the curriculum, the education, and the clinical training that is required of all nurses to be eligible to sit to take their licensure exam and to be licensed as a nurse. She says there are no reports of patients being harmed, but tonight 25 people across the country face charges for their involvement in the scheme that brought in more than $100 million, including Stanton Witherspoon and Alfred Selyu of Burlington County, New Jersey. He's home? Okay. Can we talk to him? We tracked down Witherspoon at his home in Burlington today, but family members said okay. he couldn't talk. Over the phone, he told me he had to check in with his lawyer. Wednesday night, the Department of Justice released findings of what was dubbed Operation Nightingale. When we talk about a nurse's education and credentials, shortcut is not a word we want to use. Now the FBI is working to notify state nursing boards to ensure that unqualified nurses are not working in health care. You're playing with people's health. How dare you play with someone else like that? It is important to note those nurses in Delaware, they have the right to appeal this decision. I also reached out to the uh, nursing boards in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey, still waiting to hear back from them. 
Live in Camden, John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. Brian? Yep. Connection to what federal investigators call a massive scheme to sell fake nursing degrees. We learned today that two Burlington County residents are among 25 people charged with operating the nationwide ring. Now, according to investigators, the group peddled more than 7,000 bogus degrees and nursing certificates to the tune of more than $100 million. Action News reporter John Paul joining us live in Camden tonight. And John, the feds say some of these fake nurses put real patients in danger. Yeah, and that is the real concern tonight, Brian, that they may not have the background to actually treat people in a hospital-type setting. You know, I've confirmed tonight that Delaware actually annulled the licenses of 26 nurses already. And the feds tonight, they're charging people across the country, including two in South Jersey. All of us feel this is egregious. Strong words from the executive director of Delaware's Board of Nursing after learning of a massive scheme out of Florida to sell fake nursing degrees. And tonight, we've confirmed 26 nurses in Delaware had their licenses annulled in connection to the fake degrees. These people who went to these Florida schools did not complete the curriculum, the education, and the clinical training that is required of all nurses to be eligible to sit to take their licensure exam and to be licensed as a nurse. She says there are no reports of patients being harmed, but tonight 25 people across the country face charges for their involvement in the scheme that brought in more than $100 million, including Stanton Witherspoon and Alfred Selyu of Burlington County, New Jersey. He's home? Okay. Can we talk to him? We tracked down Witherspoon at his home in Burlington today, but family members said okay. he couldn't talk. Over the phone, he told me he had to check in with his lawyer. Wednesday night, the Department of Justice released findings of what was dubbed Operation Nightingale. When we talk about a nurse's education and credentials, shortcut is not a word we want to use. Now the FBI is working to notify state nursing boards to ensure that unqualified nurses are not working in health care. You're playing with people's health. How dare you play with someone else like that? It is important to note those nurses in Delaware, they have the right to appeal this decision. I also reached out to the uh, nursing boards in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey, still waiting to hear back from them. Live in Camden, John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. Brian? Yep. Connection to what federal investors... <clears throat> so, um, guys, there you have it. Uh, you listen to the news, um, you see it. I'll post this video on the cloud. I have posted the other one. I'll post this one. You listen to the news, you see it. You see how, how, how this thing is. Uh, it's not an ordinary case, and 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 something that involves the lives of people. It is a U.S. government versus Stanton Witherspoon. This is not a case with state. Maybe say it's state of Florida. This is the U.S. government versus. You see FBI even notifying medical facilities about some of these nurses. When you when you see this and you and you and you look at and knowing everything you've seen over the last few hours, uh, guys, what do you make of this? Let me begin with you, Pastor Mo. Well, this is so dangerous. I don't even know how to begin with this because the fact of the matter is that I'm shocked from what I have read and what I've sent to you all. I don't know if you got look in your messenger, I sent some information out. Oh, these guys started this criminal thing since 2015. And for you to engage in fraudulent document that have to do with the health sector, I think it's turned on to a suicidal mission because reason is that you are accrediting people, you are accrediting people who did not train in that field of studies. And it's like giving a mechanic, a, 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 giving a mechanic a medical degree. Yes, that, that's what I'm saying. It is a suicidal mission. And why they are, why did they do that? It is because of money, because of greed, because they want to live a lavish lifestyle. So you giving somebody a certificate, not only a diploma, also a transcript, not only a transcript, but you but you giving them lesson to go and sit the boat test to work in a reputable hospital. 
Do we all know how many victims? Do we all know how many lawsuits now is pending for those hospitals? Who, who family have lost loved ones and relatives? It is scary. Right now, as we are listening to the news, there are 26 individuals from the Delaware Hospital that the licenses has been revoked and they have been sent home. We just listen that they can take a pill, but will it be accepted? Will they be able to work? And these people have already been working in this facility for years. Yeah, and 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 what I'm looking at, I think those people are going to be charged under the law because exactly, especially yeah. knowing knowingly going to that school and acquiring a degree when you know you didn't go through the curriculum. Yes, be, because you paying for a degree, you 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 paying seventeen grand for a degree, and why why are you paying for something that you know you are not capable of doing and and from what I read, from what I read, they are not using the institutional name. They're using other institutional names that are credible and giving them this lesson in disguise that this is where, look, no, this is a criminal gang. And and I tell God, thank you. That I, can, <clears throat> I can Liberians sit on social media and say, let's pray for this man. You think this is Liberia? where you give murderers, you give criminal position, and you stand with them and say, I stand with you. We need to understand. People need to give account. And if you go into any criminality, and you go there willingly, and say, let's pray for him, God will answer. You people make God vex. You people make God don't want to answer nobody's prayer. Because these people did this thing willfully, knowingly, and cautiously. They did these things, and you come and say, we stand with you. The fact of the matter, before I conclude to, to turn it over to, 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 to FBI, I want people to understand, before the FBI come after you, they have all information to substantiate the fact that you are part of the wreck. And if you listen to the news, they all was arrested. But in America, when you are arrested, they allow your lawyer to sign for you. But know this, you can't travel out of the country. You can't travel until after your case. And if you have flight risk, they're going to put banger on your legs. You're going to be monitored. These people are criminal. And for the fact of the matter, if you have such a case on you, you shouldn't be on social media talking about politics, talking about cred credibility. You should be in the back now. Yeah, I think I think he should be he should he should leave the network until his name is cleared the before network. he comes. He has because no credibility to discuss Liberian politics. No credibility to discuss about Liberia. These are the things that we talk. People just get on social media and just talk rubbish. We are doing research. And one thing I appreciate on about PR for, whenever I say something here and I step out of the band, he don't correct me in the back. He correct me here. And and what I do, I'm willing to learn and I accept it. And that's what I respect him for. But you are on a network where nobody can, can put you in check and you got a criminal there putting you in check. You got a criminal putting you in check and you start coming to a criminal. Thank you very much. You know, I see somebody, you know, it's good that we educate our people. Nobody here passing judgment or saying somebody is guilty. We're saying that uh, if anybody on this our network here is 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 indicted for for, for any malfeasance or ill-feasance or misfeasance, the honorable thing that person will have to do is to recuse themselves from the show until such indictment is cleared. Because what it does is that it undermines the integrity of the show. If I come here every day and say, Joe, we are corrupt, Maggie corrupt, uh, Bill Trump corrupt, everybody corrupt, then myself again, corruption charges hanging over me. What moral foundation can I stay on to call somebody corrupt. It undermines the credibility of this show. So this is what we're saying. And, and let me come to you, Ali. You, 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 a lot of people don't know this about Ali. Let me just say this on this show. Well, I so much, too much, too much, too much, spend plenty of time on the topic. <laughs> like, bro, like, geez. So, Ali, a lot of people don't know this. Let me say this about Ali. Ali, first degree, 
Ali first degree is in biology and chemistry. Oh, but no, no. Ali, Ali, not, Ali didn't do anything I got to do with political science in college. Ali first degree is biology and chemistry. And so Ali has far more understanding about these medical thing and the danger. For instance, I have never sat in, I did biology uh, uh, in, in LU for a few semesters. I'm not a medical practitioner. I have never been one. I never, I don't even claim to be. Imagine, Ali, imagine me getting a certificate tomorrow morning after I pay 15 grand and now you see me in JFK telling you I'm a nurse and you come for treatment. How will you how will you respond to that? If you went to JFK one morning for med for treatment and you saw me there as a nurse now, uh, saying that I'm here to treat to to, to <laughs> I'm here to treat I'm here to treat you. How do you respond to that? So Stephen, thank you. <clears throat> you know, um, it is the same thing we are facing as a country. From 2005, we had one George Weah who came and said he wanted to be president and people ran behind him. 2011, 2017, finally he became president. Against all of the campaign and everything that we said. And sometimes when we're talking, then highlighting the ills in society, you hear people say, how did we get here? We got here by voting for somebody who has absolutely no knowledge about leadership. Who throughout his career, he played football, all of the other ventures besides succeeding in football, every other thing he ventured into, he never succeeded. And so the question, I know you didn't do nursing, you didn't do medicine, and then I see, I saw you suddenly at the hospital. I'm running away. <clears throat> but Stephen, those who go to medical school, you talk to them. And when we were doing biology, the first thing when we did math on the double jala, he never skilled grades. When you score 89, 89, from 80 to 89 at B, he gave you B. In many other places, they will give you A. Um, in the medical school, my understanding is that they don't skill grades. They don't skill grade because if I score 69.5 and you say I'm running it up to 70, in the case of an engineer or in the case of a medical doctor or a nurse, when you make 0.5 mistake on your patient it could lead to it could lead to the patient's death if an engineer made 0.5 on him i think we lost him right yeah the miami yeah i think ali get internet problem yeah so the, the, why why ali is it's trying to sort the internet. Pia, let let come to you. And I know you want to be following this uh this uh if this um news closely. You've been paying attention to the news. You've been uh seeing. You watch the news. You read the indictment. You see. And one of the things it says in the indictment that uh, we have to 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 highlight here is in the in on the last page of the indictment. On the last page of the indictment, it talks about how the proceeds from this scam all of the proceeds that were generated from this scam and that were used to acquire any asset be a physical or what kind of asset it will be seized or is that it will be seized all of the once you use that that corrupt proceed to to acquire properties to acquire assets all of those assets will be freeze will be seized so it says that clearly and 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 Ali was to have making a point about the danger of of having a nurse or a medical practitioner who has not been well trained that a, a medical mistake 
on a patient is not is not ordinary. You know, it doesn't not like you. It doesn't not like you. You you doing uh you you doing puzzle and you just made one mistake. You gotta go look for the piece and find it. This is not any slight medical mistake on a patient is is a lot death or a or a permanent injury for your life. We've seen it in America yeah, where doctors or nurses make slight mistake, give you the wrong medication or give you the wrong stuff. That's life. For the rest of your life, you live for these consequences. So we're talking about 7,600 nurses spread out across. We don't know where all of them are. We don't know where they, where they are, what they've been doing. Spread across. 7,600 spread across. Maybe some of them have interacted with some of these nurses ourselves. We need to now start going look by some of our prescriptions to see what what whether we went for at these hospitals or what the nurses and and this is the fear this is why i make the kids very interested because the the reputation of damage to the nursing industry will create fear in us patients it will even make some of us to go to hospital and start asking nurses can we see your diploma so that we know which school you graduated from so that we can be sure that you didn't buy this Nursing degree. This was it will reach to this point where people will go to medicals to, to hospitals and ask these nurses to show that to show their diploma so that we can all verify before I sit on your on the you. So this is how dangerous it is. So Pia, when you watch the news, you read the indictment, you follow the events, you see how people have, have lived in opulence and, and, and extravagantly, you know, and brag about wealth, brag about successes, put other people down, call them broke to the park, I live you alone. Oh, everybody corrupt. All alien people stole government money. They're passing around. So these are things when you when you put yourself in a position to talk about things like this. What do you think is this case about? Pia, are you back? Yes, yes, I'm back. Yeah, so yeah, I'll conclude them. Pia, yeah, let me let me let me say my piece on this quickly because my internet seems to be fluctuating tonight. We are little rain, so maybe orange is giving problem. So like I was saying, when you make a far mistake on a human being, it could lead to the death of that person. So I ended up where I stopped from was that, thank God, what was done was done in a country where the people had the capacity. Oh, no, Ali. Ali, I think we we uh, yeah, internet is not uh, in the best of shape tonight. Um, yeah, Jack, go for it. Why, Ali? Well, so here is it. I I I don't want to pay attention to how people living, whether they in opulence, whether they in riches. Uh, I don't want to pay attention. I want to look at the issue very critically, and I want to start with. Certain housekeeping concerns. So Mr. Widowspoon runs a media conglomerate, not just what you see online uh, with their spoon talk situation. He owns uh, former Super FM owned by Kalando in Monrovia. He owns Fabric, a radio owned by the late Victoria. He got a spoon television. I know there were attempts made to buy OKFM and and uh, Prime and, and and other media institutions. So he runs a media conglomerate, and they've been doing media work in Liberia. They have professional journalists employed on a spoon talk. Um, perhaps a group of people who are basically political commentators, not journalists, but they run a media institution. So my first disappointment was, if you follow since Spoon, since the advent of Spoon, if you follow and you want to see which institution has made herself the mother of breaking news, that institution is Spoon. Sometimes I pick up certain breaking news from their page. The first disservice the entity did to themselves and the public is that, Unlike other people's cases where they were breaking news all over, they didn't see a need to break this news concerning their CEO. That was dishonesty number one. Number two, 
a day after the situation when they decided to host their show, they purposely decided that they would not mention anything about that situation on the show. So all the panelists came, said nothing about it. They went on to their, 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 their anchor man from Monrovia, and they asked the anchor man to tell them about training issue in Monrovia. And the anchor man said, the only training issue in the whole country as I speak to you now is the Western Cluster. And none of them had the courage to even say, hey, what a minute, we have this in that man, and that is a news all over the place, you say, back home, that Western Cluster, the, 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 the trending issue, none of them had the courage to say that. So I must give it to Witherspoon, because when he realized that even his own people were not men and women enough to just be honest to the public, he came on for five minutes. And in that five minutes, he said what he wanted to say. And one of the things he said, oh, you know, I can talk. But right now, my lawyer, Henry A. And as he stayed up for the five minutes, he said, I, I, I even tempted to talk. And when I look at that, then I felt sorry. I said, this guy could be headed for trouble because I think emotionally he's not balanced. That was observation number one. What? You are media institution. This is news. Why were you not talking about it? Observation number two. I see people on the live screen support questioning you all, why are you talking about this thing? They may have not been convicted and blah, blah, blah. The allegation has to be proven. Let me ask some of those very people. When you are pressing president, we have to fire McGill, Cephas, and Bill Travel. Which court convicted them? Which court they went to the phone and guilty? Before you ask president, we have to fire them. They resign on a kind of what about came from the US? Were they convicted by any court? So we can't be hypocritical. In as much as I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the government, I, 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 I oppose the government, I'm high on them. If yesterday a US sanction report made you say Maggie should leave his job, Sifa should leave his job, Bill Travel should leave his job. And now you're telling us we should not mention the other something because we're we'll wait until the court tries the case and finds the body guilty. What would be the simple way running with that Cassette story all over the place when you are also indicted here in America? So what makes Witherspoon's situation to be different? Yes, I agree. The will go to court and thank God there's the US where the law is the law. The will go to court. But just remember this. In this country, you don't have to live here. Go and reset it. Re reset it. When the feds go after you, the success rate of their, of their persecution in terms of conviction is 99.9. .9. Still reduce it for you. He said 99.9. It's 99.9. .9. The reason is simple. If you follow this very case, you will see the role the FBI have played, the role the other person has played. They do so much detail that before they come and say, Stephen Johnson, we're charging you, their facts are together. Because mind you, if they just came and did all these things, for example, the widow spoon, before the fights, and it caused all the embarrassment for him, or he can sue them. And that's going to be a big issue. So they do a lot of in-depth investigation before they come up to the point of indicting people. So this matter is serious. But let's let, let leave our relationship and our friendship and everything we have with Widowspoon. I got nothing against Widowspoon. I haven't sat with that young man before. I think I met him two times. And the two times I met him was just at occasion. I went to Philip, we said, Memorial. We left the church, we were to where we were having a refreshment. He was sitting there with some people. I walked to him. I walked to him, shook his hand, I greeted him, we smiled, we both smiled with each other. There was another time I met him somewhere at another occasional place. 
And that was the only two times I met him. Yes, we hear a lot of good things about him in, in terms of how generous he can be to people. How he is helping people. But no, 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 no matter the amount of generosity, no matter the amount of goods you do, if we say we want a Liberia that will work, then we gotta be honest in paying attention to people when they are in trouble. Just like Waka just walked to a hospital to take treatment. It was a big part of discussion on spoon. Mo Ali was in a situation he could not handle. It was a big part of discussion on spoon. When people cough, that discussion. They don't, they don't airplane ticket. They don't do an airplane ticket, who money that discussion? How come an indictment by the federal government, a federal indictment, not even a state-based indictment, how can a federal indictment they now want discussing? By the very media institution that we're discussing, situation you can't handle, somebody private plane ticket, and all the different, different things, somebody walk to hospital that nobody can get sick. If all these things matter, how come a federal indictment that is raising question about 114 million is being swept on the carpet by that very platform. So you see what the views come from? And you're coming on the live screen talking about nobody has been tagged, it's allegation. Oh, yes. What about the US say about Bill Travel was allegation? Why would they say about 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 Nathan McGay were allegations? Why would they say about C4 were allegations? Why would they say about Daniel Kasser were allegations? But you want to be for crucified. We have not come here to say crucify with a spoon. I don't know what we're saying. We're just raising the fact that this is serious. Come to think about it and ask yourself. 7,600 nurses purchase fake degrees. Fake diplomats that say they are nurses. They are deployed in the American health sector, dealing with human beings. For your information, let me tell you that because I live here, of late, in the last few years, there's been so much medical errors in the different hospitals across the US. So many medical errors. And the difference is, like, like our country in Liberia, where that one made mistake, you didn't make mistake, nobody get out for it. You die, you die. Yet hospitals can be sued for medical errors that lead to whether the person is handicapped, whether they die, whether what happened. So this amount of people put the, 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 the health and safety of, of the of people, people in the U.S. millions of Americans at risk. If you thought that it was a joke that the, the, the FBI have been digging into their team for years. Oh, they didn't just come up with that indictment. They've been digging into this because it's serious. And we should be more worried because if care is not taken, most of the people who purchase it will be our own people who don't like hard. They don't like to do anything hard. They don't want to study. They don't want to go to school. Because we've got thousands and thousands and thousands of Liberians in this country. And if the scheme was being spearheaded by a Liberian citizen, it's possible that many of the beneficiaries who are buying the credentials could be Liberians. Those are double trouble. They could go after them. You see, they removed 26 already from the Delaware area. Many they identifying them. They're going after them. It may not be enough to just remove them. They may be subject to persecution. It's a big situation. Very big situation. And I mean, we'll we talk further on it, but let me let me say this to to Witherspoon for me to rest so we can we can get yeah, other people will go for. Yeah, I like your courage. You wanted to show face, you wanted people to see you, you 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 wanted to give the public the impression that they see me anything. When you appear on the show for that brief time, that one thing I expected from you. Because things can come on social media and they may not be true, they may be false. So when you came, my number one expectation was for you to confirm that what people saw on social media as an indictment was indeed an indictment that you have been informed about. And thereafter, announce that 
for the peace of yourself, for the peace of your family, for the credibility of your media institution, what they do, that you will remain disengaged from anything of sort until the matter that you face with is addressed. That's what smart people do. But you wanted to assure everybody, and you wanted to make it alone that thing is that nothing, that's a common thing. So he said, we'll be here, we'll come on the show, we'll continue the show. And you attempt to yet to say, oh, I even tempted to start talking. And that's the danger of Mr. Witherspoon. If the guys have been investigating you for that long before they indicted you, everything you do, they follow him. All your social media activity, they follow him. When you continue to come on that show and you get tempted to talk about your case and you say some things that can put you into further trouble, then you'll be destroying yourself. My kind of advice to you as a professional person, as a Liberian like you, yes, you got caught to go through, you're not being convicted yet. Pay attention to that process as they will be unfolding. Leave that platform business. I said you tell me that Dr. Francia with PhD, Timothy George, well-educated, Dr. Peabody, Ben Sandy. I mean, at least I got some regard for these people. I will not call out a name for free time because he should not even be sitting on that show in the first place. Doesn't understand anything. But at least you trust the other people to run that platform for you. And by the way, I understand how other guys from free time is so nice. I hold that up from the same school. I hold that the same credential he got. He also <laughs> failed the protest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hope he doesn't have that same credential. So that was my advice to you, brother. <laughs> That'll be my advice to you. But don't try to don't try to make a big issue to look simple. Before I wanted to discuss the dead man, I know that Okase attempted seeing. There were times he said, although you know, when you run an institution, you gotta take responsibility. It is the institution that is being that and not me as a person. But behind the scene, he knew it was a big trouble. Yeah. And you see how suddenly. A healthy man, strong this man. Case, he got a case. Yeah, strong man. Just give her the ghost from what is now, whether it was heart attack, cardiac arrest, or whatever, getting got a different, different category. Whatever it was, he's gone. I think that a case was around now, million. Yeah. Also, yeah, we're talking about 114 million. Wire fraud is standing up, and then the same effect degree is standing up. It's multiplicity of charges, and all these charges were made federal charges. They are as serious as hell. You cannot look in a bureau. You can attempt to try cases in the court of public opinion. You got a judicial system doesn't work. So you try to buy public sentiment in America is the court. That's the reason why I don't think having confirmed that yes, the indictment is about you, you've been indicted, and you confirm it to the public. That should be the end of the discussion. The rest of the thing, you know, the media institution can talk about you as a person, just pay attention to your legal process. Because here yeah, you don't hear no cases here in the court of public opinion in America. It is the courts, the courts will decide. And the law here is the law. Right now, as we're speaking here, Joe Biden is the sitting president of the US. He's been investigated for classified documents. Donald Trump is the immediate past president. He's been investigated both for January 6th and classified documents. Mark Pence is the immediate past vice president. He's been investigated for classified documents. That's what made America great. Nobody here is above the law. You can, be, you can be whatever. When you break the law, they apply the law on you. So we got to be concerned because Stanton is a citizen of Liberia. Stanton is deep into the politics of our country. So it's not privately ordinary. It's in the public space. It's a part of the discourse in his country. Actively. The things that concern him will concern the Liberian populace. So if he is indicted, we will not draw a conclusion. 
But it has to come to the public as we are doing. We cannot bury it like, like what he led where he attempted to do, that nothing happened. So Mo is bad. Stevie, let me read for now. Mo is bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but. Yeah, I know but, you. You know, yeah, uh, uh, but before before yeah, I, I come back, yeah, man. Let me let me tell my piece. Uh, and Pierre ended up with what what I really wanted to say. You know, some of these things they happen in the bigger country. They have all of the capacity to investigate, and and sincerely. It didn't just come out yesterday. Like Pia said, they investigate over time. And we have been hearing. The first time I heard um, about the investigation into Stanton was when the Dr. Cassette news came about. And somebody called and said, well, Dr. Cassette is out, but they are investigating Stanton as well. And I believe... That he will go to court he will hire his lawyers he will defend himself but i am not going to court a slack on him on this one because when you run an institution and these things are happening they don't just happen in one day time yeah you consciously because did it if it is the FBI that is doing the investigation, which it was, then it means that it's something that must have happened over a period of time, protracted period of time. Because I know it's not just any kind of funny thing they call FBI to investigate. I don't live in the US, but I know those of you who are there. Look at either either are drinking uh, cranberry juice. <laughs> It's not <laughs> just any kind of funny thing they, they call FBI to investigate. So if you didn't know about it, then the question that we will ask is, how then were you overseeing the operations of the institution, of both of them? Because some people could not have just sat in the clique and just start issuing degrees or, yeah. or lessons is a lesson or certificate to nurses and the medical field is not something that you can play with what i know here i think every year or, or two they can review the lessons of the nurses and the medical doctors because if you are not even practicing constantly you become rusty and so let Stanton have the opportunity, and thank God that is America. He is going to have the opportunity to go to court and plead his case. I'm sure the state, the U.S., will present the evidence they have against him. And at the end of the day, whether it is the jury or the judges, they will make the decision. They will come down with judgment on the basis of what they have seen, the kind of evidence that will be produced from both sides. I'd like to rest now on this. And, um, and, and, and I just wanted to come in with this breaking news. I have seen a communication reportedly from the long-term journalist, veteran BBC journalist, Jonathan Pelire has expressed his interest to contest on the ticket of the Unity Party in Nima County, District Number Eight, he has been a long-term member of the Liberal Action Party, and after they got together, so um, I just wanted to break that. Is um, and I said reported. It has not yet been confirmed. I've been. I've, I'm going to get in <coughs> touch with him to see if we can invite him on this platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how to talk to him and see. Yeah. But you know, you know, Ali. Um, um, when you talk about this Stanton case and you look at the the conundrum, the the cascading effect, I will put it the cascading effect. You 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 train you you give nurses licenses, 
they go into the field, they, they are killed. And still, before you, before you go for let's just, let just make this point for some people who, don't, who may not understand what is happening here. Nobody here is against Witherspoon. Witherspoon in that man is news. And when news are made, media only discuss the news. I was critical from the beginning of my comment on Spoon because Spoon is a media institution. It didn't make no sense why they avoided talking about something that is on news. Whether that person affects somebody that you know, if it's on news, you can pick and choose on why you why you why you do as news. So we're discussing it as a news. For some of us who only all that we live here, we know what federal indictments are. Nobody will try to make it a law that it's not nothing, and nobody will be bothered about that. It's serious. And because it's a news, we're going to talk about it. When it start the prosecution, we'll start, we keep talking about it as stories relating to it keep coming. Those 7,000 cells on April, they'll start laying hands on them. As they lay hands, yeah, as they lay hands on them and we'll get the news, we'll talk about it. Tomorrow, when they go through the case and Stanton is exonerated, we'll We'll come here and talk about it. We'll say, thank God, this time around, the feds got it wrong. The lie on a young Liberian man, and thank God he came out with flying colors. All right? Until we get to that point, the truth of the matter is, he's on an indictment, a federal indictment. That's news, big news. Bigger than Joseph Baga walking to the hospital. Bigger than somebody saying, I say, oh, Mo Ali in situation. Bigger than all the small, small things that broken in half. You and the party go to convention in Bonn County. One guy want to be youth co congress chair, the man OA. They deny him if that begin talking point that you and the party was in chaos in Bonn County. If those petty things could be discussed, why would a news outlet play blank eye to a serious news like that? So that's what we're doing. We got no interest in liking or hating anybody. But the same way Donald Cassell was in that, we talk about it. Now we're talking about it one. The same way not McGill, C Force, Bill was sanctioned, we're talking about it. Now we're talking about it. One. The same American people that did it to build and y'all celebrating, y'all said a good thing. And the same American people do it, y'all say, we're not talking, we're wait for until the man is guilty first. That one is not correct. That's that not correct English, though. Every time you have to say that good English, that's not good English. And Pierre, one of the things I wanted to say is when you look at the, the effect, People say I'm a lot of people in the book, book. The the chain the chain reaction, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, right? What will lead to what? So for instance, you you gave you gave these people uh, uh licenses to go practice as nurses, right? They go in the in the in the nursing fee, they um they start working, they're making a decent pay. So the livelihood, the living standard increase because they are nurses now, they're making the salary of a nurse, right? The the ripple effect on them is, for instance, after imagine these twenty six nurses, they are they want their 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 license their licenses are annoyed. They are, they they might they might no longer be capable of working in the medical field. They have to now go start with new careers. Their living standard drop. So this is just one side. The second side is families families whose patients were in the care of these nurses. That today their certificates have been nullified, and anything that happened to those family while in the care of these nurses, those family will have to sue. So we don't know that the lawsuit could also not just affect the hospital directly, but that the lawsuit could also affect the school, because if the school was knowingly issuing license to people who you know, use those licenses to come into the medical profession. The chain reaction there could be enormous. So this is not just an ordinary case. This is something that we will pay attention to. This is something that we, that we will watch closely here on the class. You know, and as Pia said, we, we're we not discussing Stanton as Stanton. Nobody hates him. Uh, 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 I've never met him before, even though we, we've spoken on the phone a uh, couple of times. But nobody hates him. He runs a media entity. He he's heavily involved in the Liberian politics. Uh, 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 he's one of the major actors, as uh, somebody who runs a media uh, entity. And so we have a an obligation here too as talk show to discuss it. It's in the news. It's a global news. It's something that warrants our 
our view, our analysis. And so for us to pretend, for us to come here and pretend like nothing happened, I don't think even y'all who watching us will take us seriously. You guys will think that we are a bunch of jokers. We are people who are shielding criminals or, or, or alleged criminal or people involved in, in, in alleged criminal activity or that we too are beneficiaries for some of these schemes. And so the reason why we talk this is news, not targeting nobody. If As Fia said, if, if, if he's cleared, we'll come here, we'll talk about it. If he's found guilty, we'll still talk about it. And as we go through the, 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 um, the investigation, we'll also talk about it. Dillon, Dillon was a chief funder of this platform. Many of the places where he slept, including his ticket issue, the the the, the infamous pension pension bill. We the dealt with him. We dealt with yeah, tele We dealt with him, and then he ran away from the show. Yeah, and that, that that that's how you give credibility. You don't you don't close your mouth, or I let nothing happen because the person concerned is is one of you, or is your friend, or is your relative. No country will get changed like that. When the wrong that we all complain about is being done by somebody who is not related to us, then we are champions of it. Not until our own friends and family fall in there, we believe nobody should talk about it. And when everybody wants to talk about it, now they, they hate the person. I, I know you all say front page Africa, they all hear what else going on because Ronnie is all the way on that network. And Ronnie's headline is what? Is it what did he say? The four or the great four? The four. The four. So the fact that Ronnie is conclusively saying by a headline that a man has fallen, you will say the man hates him? No, it's a journalist. He make it, that's the news for him. That a guy who controls a media conglomerate to have a federal indictment in the opinion of that paper, in their editorial judgment, is a fall. And you're not yeah. interpreting that to say, oh, they hate the man. Or Stephen Johnson and Uncle Clark really are talking about it because it's new. They say, oh, why are they talking about it? Just to lead that thing. That we just hate each other. They hate the man. The same problem we have with the national leadership in the country. When the president and all his people taking the wrong decision, people won't talk about it. They just hate a ball. They just hate a ball. How come you define every freaking thing as hate? I know, I know, I know, I know. And I have a lot of video here. Let me let me play the let me play the second video. It's the same case. Let me play the second video here. Let me play this one sold fake oh. nursing diplomas nationwide and there are, are more arrests to come local times roy ramos is live with this developing story roy nicole this was a 114 million dollar scheme where nursing schools based right here in south florida sold those fake diplomas at fifteen thousand dollars a pop those students would then take that diploma and in some cases obtain nursing jobs without even having the proper training U.S. Attorney for the Southern District, Markenzie LaPointe, surrounded by federal agents to announce the results of Operation Nightingale, a scheme where fake diplomas and transcripts were sold to thousands of people across the country in order to work as registered nurses. The last thing we want to learn is that the nurses administering the medications, the ones charged with carrying out the doctor's order, took shortcuts on their clinical training and used fake nursing diplomas to get their licenses and jobs. Unfortunately, thousands of people have taken this shortcut. 7,600 that federal agents are aware of. 30% of those who purchased the $15,000 fake diplomas went on to sit for state exams, even passing them. Use those fake credentials to sit for state board examinations, obtain their nursing licenses, and ultimately get jobs at hospitals. We learned the three nursing schools selling the fake documents were based right here in South Florida. One at the Palm Beach School of Nursing in West Palm Beach, another at the Siena College of Health in Lauder Hill, and at Sacred Heart International Institute in Fort Lauderdale. 25 individuals have been charged across multiple states with wire fraud crimes, including conspiracy. While agents have already identified several facilities where people may be working as licensed nurses who obtain those jobs illegally, the concern is the safety of the patients being treated by them. To date, we have not learned of nor uncovered any evidence of patient harm stemming from these individuals. So 21 arrests have already been made. Two more are expected over the next few days. As a result, agents have notified nursing boards across the country. For now in downtown Miami, Roy Ramo. 
So, Pia, you see 21, 21 arrests have been made. Uh, I don't know what they call Operation Nightingale. And, and, and those of you who, who know um, Nightingale, Florence Nightingale is the is the one who the nursing professional is, you know, there's this old nurses take. It is the, uh, the they have, the, the, some of the, the nurses will know it better than I do, but it's uh, she was the one who inspired to a larger extent this professor. So it was called Operation Nightingale. Now, 21 persons have been arrested as far as we know. And also the, the city guy said, the journalist said that uh, two other arrests will be made in the coming days. He clearly stated that. Now, one of the guys who are, who 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 is listed on the uh, on the uh, on the on the sheet, the charge sheet, the indictment with Stanton has, I can state, has been arrested. Um, I will publish his uh, his mock shot in a couple of minutes once I put it. But you know, Pastor Mo, what do you have to say? But before Pastor Mo comes, uh, Stevie, so they they they've talked about all these arrests. So so where is Stanton? Is he arrested? Stevie, are you there? Yeah, yeah. We 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 don't have any specific details yet. Whether he's been arrested, it's also possible that uh, he could have been. He 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 his his lawyer might have signed for him, and he's under house arrest. The last information we gathered was that he was under house arrest. Um, I don't know. I can't verify, and it's also possible that he's, he's he might be out on bail. So those are technical details. We'll have to. Uh, final, but uh, in the coming days, we'll have more information on this matter. Um, to report, especially on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, as they unfold. But uh, this is as far as we know, this is um, this is it. It's possible he's out on bail, yeah. Because even from that video you show, the press people had engaged his home, yeah, and the guy taking his garbage, confess you. The guy confirming his, I mean, taking his gabby confirmed that he was, uh, he was home, but that they could yeah. not see him. Yeah. And they managed to reach him on the phone and he said, well, my lawyer is handling it. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, possible to post that bill. Possible. Yeah. Um, you know, in America, when, when there is a case on you, you will first be picked up, but they will allow your lawyer to sign for you while you go and they prepare the day for the hearing. But I have something here that I want to read, and I want many of our listeners to listen, because we're not just speaking off head. It is not a gossip. Uh, I have an information from the indictments that, was, that, they have, that they have released, and I will read, it is called, this is count three, I will read count three, and I will read count six. Uh, Pia, I think I did send it to you in your, your messenger. So I will read count three, and I will read count six. These are description of wire transmission, and I will read. But I want our people to understand, like what Pia said and uh, uh, what Brother Johnson said, we are speaking on issues that is trending in our nation and in America. So if if other network can discuss issues on other people, I don't see the reason why we can discuss it. Nobody here envy anybody, but when there is a criminal drag net that has been burst, it becomes a trending issues. So I read this description of wire transmission. Brother Johnson, I, I also send it to you. It's a text message via interstate wires from Stanton with a spoon to co-conspirator one in the Southern District of Florida containing a photograph of an official transcript for nursing applicant PO listed in date of birth, a graduation date of 0520. 2019 and course completion for year 2015-2016. Let me read count six. Count six is very interesting. Count six, text message via interstate wires from co-conspirator one in the Southern District of Florida to Staten Waterspoon discuss it 
certain water spoon sending information for conspirator one to process 33 nursing applicants. To process 33 nursing applicants. So what were they doing? In every text messages that we send to anybody is being monitored in the US. It's being monitored. Nothing is hidden. And this one thing that I, that I say, and I will continue to say, we are not saying Stanton Waterspoon is guilty, but if you are discussing issues confronting Liberia, if you are discussing about people in position in Liberia, if you are discussing about election in Liberia, you are not credible now to discuss those issues because you want to be the face of Liberia to discuss issue. And I say to Mr. Waterspoon, you need to recuse yourself from your broadcast and let other people discuss issues confronting Liberia because you are not neutral when it comes to issues confronting Liberia. Thank you very much. Yeah, and you, 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 you're right, Pastor Mo. You're, you're very right. Um, the, and, and that's why, in fact, when Pia spoke about it, the credibility of your, of your, of your organization, of your, of your, of your business, hinges on the fact that uh, it has come under serious reputational damage. Um, it's something that you have to pay particular attention to because when you, when you, when you, when you position yourself. As, as a watchdog of society, because the media is essentially the watchdog of society. And, and, and as media entity, some of the, one of, there are three key components people say that uh, you must, the news must be accurate, they must be balanced, and they must be credible. Now, the reason people look up to the media for, for balanced, credible, and accurate news is because it is believed that the media has a high level of ethical principles that they stand by. For us, we are not a media institution. We we are we come on for a few hours, do our talk show, talk about issues in Liberia. And so it is only but fair to your listeners for you to recruit yourself from the platform. And, and, and since the platform itself is a source of some of the uh of some of what we know, it's also important for 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 um for you to pay attention to that. So I think in the interest of uh, the credibility of his, his entity, it will make sense for him to recruit himself for now until the case is uh, is adjudicated, hopefully in the coming days um, or months, depending on how fast the uh, the uh, the Justice Department intend to, uh, to move this case. So uh, Pia, uh, what do you make? I'm trying to load the picture of uh, one of the guys uh, who's listed in the indictment. I have it here. So you see, this is one of the guys listed listed in the indictment. Um, you see there, his uh, his uh, you see his name. I can't. His name is Renning, I think. Uh, Renning is one of the three persons listed. Now this is his mock shot. He was arrested uh, by the U.S. Marshal Office. Um, on charges of uh, corruption to commit wire fraud. Um, so the U.S. Marshal Office uh, arrested him. He's, uh, he was born uh, on April 15, 1974. He's a black man. He's a male. Um, charges is on hold by the U.S. Marshal, hold for U.S. Marshal Office, conspiracy to commit um, wire fraud. Now, he's one of three persons listed. If you watch, it, there's this, you have Stanton Witherspoon, you have um, Afra Sulu, and then this uh, running, uh, running uh, Benadel, Benadel guy. So three of them are, are listed, are listed on the, uh, <laughs> on the, yeah, my glasses <laughs> on this, uh, on the charges. Now this guy has been arrested as we speak. He's currently in in the custody of the U.S. Marshal. I know he's been turned over to. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so so let let correct something because we are we are a serious online people. People expect us to know better. So, uh, let me just say something that maybe getting some people panic. No, it's not true that every text message people send are monitored in the U.S. That's not true. It is only when there is a reasonable belief that a crime is being committed by a person, then the FBI or law enforcement. Oh, when you use any words. Yeah, so you 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 is that generally to, to be people scared to say anytime you test in project know that yeah, or when you use certain words, there are certain <laughs> things you say in text message 
that will, will be flagged. For instance, yeah. if you just send a text message, say, let's go bomb this place, it will be flagged. Exactly. So let's correct that because we are serious people here. So we're going to guide them just in our line to people like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 so you see, one of the guys, yeah, this guy, he, if you read in that man, he's, he's one of the guys listed. He has been arrested, as we know, um, uh, um, by. You muted, Pia. Same put it by or trying to call him name when you remove Yeah, it. I, yeah I, can, I can see your name because he's, it's a cover. He's, he's Bernandel, B E R N A D E L, Bernandel Rain, R E M E. Okay. So he's Bernandel Rain. The other guy is Son Silo. Yeah, Alfred uh, Silo. Alfred Silo, S E L L U. So, yeah. Hmm. But this is, you know, this is a this is a serious matter. I hope Ali can come so we can take call. Yeah, yeah because, you see, because, the, because this matter is serious, I think we have done justice to it. We keep talking about it. I believe the, the audience following, I see the viewership is 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 is, is, is a bit huge today compared to uh, other days. And I know it's also being carried live on the long page, a lot of people following that too. So I think it'll be fair to give enough time. So yeah, for the, call, for the callers to weigh in, let you hear their perspective. Let let let, let, let not be just oh Stephen Pierre Mo, Pastor Mo, they just kill the top blah 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 for three hours and move on. Then let you hear their own perspective. We gone two hours plus since we started our discussion. And um, unless you got something else, no no no, I, I, think I hope Mo, I hope, I, I hope Mo can come back. Mo, if you're listening, come back because the the point that everybody struggling with what's online will not be effective. If you can come back, Jupal. I don't know what wrong with Jupal. Jupal, can you come and take the call? No, Jupal. You remember you sent a speech yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to try to come back. Uh, or, I think we got plenty of new students. We got plenty of new students today. And some of our other panelists, Daniel Sano, maybe did on the rest of you. Somebody got to come with a local number so the people can call, please. Yeah, more Ali, if you listen, please come with. Uh, please come so we can take calls on your phone. So while we wait for them, you can put the. The number on so people can be trying on the WhatsApp at the center calling direct. Uh, yeah, let me call, let me call your, your number. I, yeah. I think I think some more is that on here. It will be good to put Pastor Mo number there too. Maybe they can, he can be called. Yeah, let if Pastor Mo can give me a number, I'll put it there. So if you're listening, we only have one number for now. Is the overseas number? You can call on WhatsApp using the same number. It is plus one four zero one six eight 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 two six six. Uh, that's Plus one, So if you're listening, you can uh, you can call to participate and uh, give your take on what we've discussed so far. Uh, somebody said they wanted a new student. <laughs> somebody want to play the video again? Yeah, maybe you can just play the video. Sir, I don't have call yet. Yeah, let me play the video. They're not ready to call yet. You can play the video. Let me pull that video out. Let me pull that Connection video. to what federal investigators call a massive scheme to sell fake nursing degrees. We learned today that two Burlington County residents are among 25 people charged with operating the nationwide ring. Now, according to investigators, the group peddled more than 7,000 bogus degrees and nursing certificates to the tune of more than $100 million. Action News reporter John Paul joining us live in Camden tonight. And John, the Fed say some of these fake nurses put real patients in danger. Yeah, and that is the real concern tonight, Brian, that they may not have the background to actually treat people in a hospital-type setting. You know, I've confirmed tonight that Delaware actually annulled the licenses of 26 nurses already. And the feds tonight, they're charging people across the country, including two in South Jersey. All of us feel this is egregious. Strong words from the executive director of Delaware's Board of Nursing after learning of a massive scheme out of Florida to sell fake nursing degrees. And tonight, we've confirmed 26 nurses in Delaware had their licenses annulled in connection to the fake degrees. These people who went to these Florida schools did not complete the curriculum, the education, and the clinical training that is required of all nurses to 
be eligible to sit to take their licensure exam and to be licensed as a nurse. She says there are no reports of patients being harmed, but tonight 25 people across the country face charges for their involvement in the scheme that brought in more than $100 million, including Stanton Witherspoon and Alfred Sellew of Burlington County, New Jersey. He's home? Okay. Can we talk to him? We tracked down Witherspoon at his home in Burlington today, but family members said he couldn't talk. Over the phone, he told me he had to check in with his lawyer. Wednesday night, the Department of Justice released findings of what was dubbed Operation Nightingale. When we talk about a nurse's education and credentials, shortcut is not a word we want to use. Now the FBI is working to notify state nursing boards to ensure that unqualified nurses are not working in health care. You're playing with people's health. How dare you play with someone's health like that? It is important to note those nurses in Delaware, they have the right to appeal this decision. I also reached out to the uh, nursing boards in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So, yeah, I was just reading. Yeah, the calls are, the calls are coming back to Barcelona. We're making it. I got some money now already, in fact. Yeah, let me just say that. I was just reading just now that uh, an undercover agent had attended the school um, on March in March 13 of last year, right? 14 days later, they, they they gave the person the degree saying that they graduated June of 2018 with a GPA in nursing of 3.4. Yeah, that one is, is, is normal, yeah. On a cover agent will always, so when you create, yeah. you have to pay attention on a, on a cover So the, the, the agent met a guy called Adrian at the school. Adrian collected the money for him. The, the agent... The agent said the agent wanted a nursing degree, so they gave him a degree after 11 days after he went to the school. 11 days, they gave him a degree saying he graduated. The back did it and said he graduated June 2018 with a GPA of 3.4 in well, nursing. It, that's the same thing we say, yeah. The, the FBI <laughs> involved with something, they would not induct you. They don't so the member of Cool Laden in 14 days. Okay, call her on the long way ahead. All right, thank you for having me. This is Samuel Walker from Philadelphia. Uh, thank you, Ghana, for flagging the issue as it relates to Stephen Rosborn, uh, in recent indictment in America. You know, as Liberian, we need to balance our argument as it relates to those that fall the crime in our country and out of our country. And Stephen Rosborn being one of those involved in his recent indictment, this, uh, this brings to up to the image of the Liberian community in the diaspora. So it is just necessary, it is left there enough to discuss the issue. Unlike all Liberians are saying, let's pray for the brother, let us not talk about it because he's a Liberian citizen, he's a Liberian brother. I think this is wrong. We Liberians to change our mind and attitude towards those that affect our society in the Liberian community at large. Okay, As thank you, brother. Involvement to crime in our society. Let me get short, short. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Call on the line from Monrovia, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Yeah, when you're caught, you struggle to get on the line, then you still listen to yourself on the device, so you lost your, your opportunity. People calling back to buy, you get through, then you still listen to yourself on whatever you listen to the program to. Uh, uh, call on the line, go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. This is Habib Sharif, Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you guys for the show and bringing this to our attention. I uh, just want to say to the listeners, this is a very, very serious issue. Uh, I've been living in this country well over 30 years. Uh, I mean, once the FBI knock on your door, it, it's not, they're not bringing you a Christmas gift. <laughs> this is a serious, serious issue. And we have to be mindful. I work at a bank and work in departments where we do go after the fact. Let's say you do get a loan and you can get a loan with false documents and they'll give you the loan. But there is a there is a department called Quality Assurance where they review all the documents to make sure that you, you do qualify for that loan. So we shouldn't, you know, you go ahead and take 15 grand giving people diplomas, playing with other people's life. This is a very serious issue. I don't know if prayer can help at this time, but let's keep watching. Thank you, guys. Okay. Caller on the line. Go ahead, call on the line. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Peter. 
Uh, this is James Lancer here calling from Baltimore. Look, um, just to add, uh, I've been really disappointed uh, that the uh, Stanton had a mind to come on the station yesterday. Uh, and like Prophet Key was saying, without any you know, sensitivity for even displaying the least level of remorse, or at least for the circumstances that he found himself in, he should have stayed away. That was bad. And he had the audacity to even within that time to go on attacking others if he was corrupt. So that, that is just sad, really, for, the, for that young man. And um, I mean, I see that he's completely in denial. And uh, time will come out that we all wish that uh, the worst doesn't happen. But it, the, the, his behavior kind of parallels the behavior of the young man with whom, you know, I mean, who had a, a sad experience recently from Liberia as well. So we need to watch all uh, and, uh, and really encourage Liberians to come here in the city and seek to live with Stephen, what Johnson was saying, live an honest life, life, go to school, learn, and earn your living, you know, earnestly. Uh, we all should learn from that. And it is sad that Liberians generally, uh, I, I, don't seem to be battled with the court, the court of corruption and they're talking about praying for somebody who, uh, you know, has been involved in acts that are dangerous in many respects. That Stephen was saying. Okay, bro, let, let, a lot of people, a lot of people yeah. in the lounge, let's stop it there. Thank you for your point. Yeah, let's stop it there. Uh, anyway. And the, 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 the second number is, is on, if you want to call. But, uh, yeah, I have a call up. No, boy, anyway, I got somebody in the lounge. Call up on the lounge, go ahead. Yeah. Um, this is Strong Banapigin calling from Canada. Oh, Strong Banapigin. Yeah. But we already got plenty of news today. Go ahead, sir. Well, um, first of all, I want to express my sympathy to Mr. Stanton's um, supporters who are criticizing people for uh, talking about the issue. Yeah. Um, in ways we are talking about it. Uh, the first thing is, when there are issues about other people, and this is a hypocrisy in the whole thing, when there were issues about other people, the same center were over here talking about the recent uh, indictment of Maggie and others, the self thing and other issues. And now they don't want to talk, and they don't want other people to talk about this certain thing, and they classify it as as it. Look, if you are in the public eye, you got to conduct yourself in a manner where you will be seen um, in in that moral uh, uh, rectitude. So, Stanton was aware, very aware that this day will come, and is that is that it? He knew what he was what he was doing was wrong. He knew that it was against the law. We are not celebrating it, but it's an issue that we have to discuss. Exactly. Because he's in a public space. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, yeah, thank you. Okay, Mo, go ahead. All right, caller, go ahead. Uh, uh, good evening. This is uh, Samson Mane calling from the Canada Grandmaster County. Uh, uh, hold on, something. You're getting here, right, Steven? See? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I think there's something matter calling from the Canon Grandmaster County. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, please. Can you please allow me? I want to speak my my dialect password and give the people the information because a lot of people listening in the rural area right now. You can take one minute to give that whole information, but go ahead. All right. Uh. เดี๋ยวเนี่ยปากแกมอเอ่อการุเนี่ยอันนี้คุณพี่เนี่ยเนี่ยการุเนี่ยคุณดูว่าเราสตาร์ทตัวเราสกุลเลยอ๋อโอ
Thank you, Steve Mare. More than more than yeah. You yeah. all the men say, you're laughing, you all the men say. I ain't enjoying the bath or that though. But when the men left your whole stand on team, the men say, one man in America, they can't stand on, he came on a show, he talked about nobody can have Lauren, he talked about nobody can have Lauren. <laughs> then when he keep talking about nobody can have Lauren, then Bala can't have Lauren, he will do that up in America, he keep plenty of people to catch him. So that's why you don't even know what I want. Ah. I say go ahead, I call up, go ahead. <laughs> Good evening, uh, go ahead. Uh, this is Bobby Abu Mesca from District 6 SD Kuburu. Well, let me appreciate you guys this evening for this beautiful show. You see today a move to see a blessingless Tonton Waterfall who sit on a platform to preach in Taquete. I know. I can remember the moment I bought you out. You're so sweet for us. This is the man who loves Buster as soon as he's been on for Ryan Westcliff. This is the man that loves Buster and Aomer Boaga when he made any snow to go on on a platform to 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 display the messages that between Paul and Snow and Aomer. This is the man today has found his death in this kind of act. Then people telling all we should wait a naughty or own men and stone down water soon that not deserve to have space in our political arena. Some of all who say no, this man must face the law. The law is the law. You must not go to America men are all looking for such an opportunity that stone down water soon has today. We go there with two cartoons, but not to go and dig the people's system to carry on fraudulent in America. Do you know what I mean? That is a big crime. Some people like Stanton, they will have the opportunity to come to Nabiru today to work here. Our whole system, governmental system, will come to be very polluted. So we will discuss it. It will help the people who are benefited from it. It will help them. Then they will bring back to the way and not the way for the corruption to move from over here. Now the car reload and coming being one of the little fuck when four person can be watching because that network doesn't have integrity. They lost the integrity matter because they don't even discuss it. This man will have no space. We we'll make sure that man will sit in justice and go to My man, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Mo. Thank you. He got silent. He got silent. I said, John. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Well, if you're going to tell you, you'll be on the line for long. Yeah. Call yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Call up for the U.S. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Pierre, and thanks to you all. Uh, I'm Maurice Collins from Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I have a different perspective about this whole uh, standard issue. Uh, my concern is that uh, of recent times, uh, most of the people that get involved in the kind of case, in the kind of situation, they are, they are one way close to our government officials and the staff government officials. The last time you were passionate Kante, and uh, this was a man, our friend with the vice president. And concerning all master, uh, Mr. Sutter Waters, who said he's a friend of the president, he calls the president anytime, the president calls him anytime. The last time he took his crew to Liberia and he was guarded by state security, I don't know whether he paid for that or whatever arrangement, I don't know. And he said the president stayed four hours for his crew. So my concern is that, is that this is something that should concern us as people that this kind of people getting involved in the kind of criminal act, they are always trying to close to the president or the vice president or some staff government officials. Is this something that anyone should be concerned about? I mean, that's just my own uh, stuff. Very good. Very, be very, 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 very good observation. Very, very good point. I mean, nobody saw it coming from that perspective, but thank you. Well, let me take the other call. Yeah, quick. Can I, can I, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me take the call. Call go ahead. Hello. Call up, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, more than one minute coming. Call up, go ahead. Really? Yeah, go ahead quickly. Oh, thank, thank you guys so much. Thank you, uh, JP. Uh, you know, uh, I, I suppose the reason why you see every all the guys on school acting like that is, is, is shame. Shame and disgrace. Look, who will be having money? We are living in this country that are working for our money. And that's right. That sweaty day and night working 16 hours to take people like Kel Hassan and carry a phone in, in, in first class hotel, spending more than 10,000 United States dollars 
come on, 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 on Thank you so much. I see my discuss, but they're not discussing it. Thank you. Move away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Kolo. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Inkele Snaro. I do join you from Bikana Grand Basel County. The issue that you people brought to net is very, very important. So, yeah, please give me a little time. Let me explain what happened to us in Basel here, in Bikana Grand Basel County, at the Cali Hospital. You don't practice on human beings. That would be a medical malpractice. The mistake you made. It will cause full damage on human beings. Okay, my brother's son, 2015, the little baby they carry in the Cali hospital. They gave him drip. The drip cut off the ball ear. The drip cut off the ball ear and walk after it. One Mr. Moses Jackson and the father the two, uh, they sat before me. They said they are not afraid of Cali people. They said we are not educated, we are native people. We don't have the money to fight the case. And even when we fight the case, we will lose it. The ball is here with me now. The first player who carried the ball that to Mr. Shemo, Dr. Shemo, or Sergeant Cook cleaned it on 20th Street. So today, any time we go, the only thing they told us when the ball is sick, we have fewer, we just get to the hospital to give him medicine. So today, you're brought it up. People who are unprofessional, they are not medical practitioners. When the doctor diagnosed the case, we send it to the night. And today, yeah, the ball is here. Anytime he and his friend, they are playing, they can tell you, say, you got your court here, you will come crying to me. Papa, the ball cost me, or the game cost me. Tell me when the man reached the age of 20 years. If somebody say you're caught here, he did not kill that person or do something to the person. So I thank God for you to bring the person to the kind of a topic up. I will take the ball to more and more, more and you see the ball. Your thing, what they help the way forward. Because they finish setting up that even when we carry the case, we'll be the loser. So thank God that in the period, it didn't happen. But it don't happen in the United States. That while the particular topic here, I said, I will call. And asking people whether it's right. Yeah, the boy here now. Anytime he plays, he says he can be played until the time can pass by him. Whether he's there, he's not little, he, he, you know, he doesn't care. You don't know. So now he's using Marvin K on one side of the year at the age of seven years because Dr. Shemo said we should take him back to the hospital. We're going to do the surgery on him. But anytime we tell the guy people, Mr. Moses, just say, well, they are people. You don't have the power. You don't have no money. They are native people. They are not educated. So. If you don't know, all right, chief. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, are you guys calling from Bikana Grand Basel County? Yeah, go ahead. 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 And that God bless you, God. Okay. But on the issue with the Spoon TV, mm. uh, Living Stone. The now Spoon TV will discuss here, yeah, we're discussing Stanton with a spoon, the owner of Spoon yeah, TV. Yeah, the, the owner of uh, uh, Spoon TV. Yeah. You see, the, that was the work when like we come with equity, we come with clean hands. Mm. Now, he always on up that something with, uh, I don't know, one care, care, what can I care, Mohammed, whatever, whatever he call himself. He always criticizing honest people in this country. The other, the other time, once upon a time, uh, 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 Senator Dillon, that he plain ticket issue, they ran with it here. Yeah, today now, he being inducted by the FBI. You see that? Yeah. So this guy, uh, he, should, he, should, he should leave that, 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 that television station and face the weight of the law. He should accuse himself. Okay. So that, that's my contribution. And another thing I want to say, I want to wish our president, uh, incoming president, Honorable Bwaka, while he's in the United States, he should try his best and love it and do his best. And you got to, you need to work. And what we hear here about that biometric, and they say that people will get fast food and all the kind of things. We'll talk about the biometric tomorrow. We'll talk about it on Monday, yeah? Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Call on the language. 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Bima Rapia. Uh, I thank I thank everybody who is in studio. You know, uh, you don't want to be surprised for the uh, platform to be overcrowded because things are happening now. Credible institutions are uh, giving the uh, news to, to all people, to all the educators. All. They are not men in arms. So now we are looking at two uh, uh, media institutions that really uh, will be listened to. If it can be that, but we're looking at uh, Aaron Costa and we're looking at uh, the class reloaded. Because if, uh, the two platforms really are coming to be overcrowded. And, uh, and, and my, 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 my second point is that why is it our band whosoever is in with the house, what kind of team behind it? Uh, and it's coming. Anytime you leave with somebody, they got something behind it. And you see, you see uh, the other Musa Bilidi, uh, they were fingering all the money. Where, where that one coming from? And they, 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 they follow all the people to go and discord Joseph Waka. Okay, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, DJ, DJ, DJ Lomel, go ahead. Thank you very much, Honorable Pia. Let me say good evening to the panelists. Oh, Mr. Pia, you know, Stinton, let me not talk more for him, but if at all he did what he did and what is what, what is screaming on the social media, I think he should face the full weight. Because like bro, like bro now try to transform with the, with the grace of God or woman boy high, like bro transform. But the main thing that my caught my attention on Rubia, I just sent you the the photo registration that they decided for counties. How will you get big county like Lufa? You get 25 days. I got so many villages and town. Let me my get 25 days. Get Lufa 20 days. But now you give me grand crew that small in population and the, and the, and, the, and the counties are not big. But you give me 31 day. These are the places that GT can start from. I think those people that own it, that own the board or the unit party should look at this and tell them that it will not work with us. You can't give grand crew 31 days for them to register. You give big county like Lufa 20 days. You can't be counting at Nima 25 days. Where the issue is given uh, a grand chile? Uh, okay, uh, DLO, uh, man. We, okay, that we, we, to we, 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 we hear it. We, thank you. Thank you. We hear okay. it. Monday, we'll talk about that. Uh, uh, Can I take yeah. a call? So the last one I'll come to you. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Good evening, Studio. We are that family. Yeah, Studio. We are that family. Go ahead. Go ahead. You just see me again. I can pee. Yeah, new student all are in class when they're taking people's seats. <laughs> so you have a big try. <laughs> you have a big try to create space for them. Okay. And my point on the whole issue, there was a JP I was saying about Barrow. Last night I was so eager to go on that platform to listen to them discussing their CEO issue. But when they asked Barrow about training issue in the country, Barrow was brave enough to say the only training issue that was in the country, it was the was it Western cluster? Ah, Baron, they have all the radio stations in the country in the time and carry from in the morning up to I don't know when. Then you are brave enough to kind of say that we are the only training issue in the country was about Western cluster. They love me because in fact, Samuel to and what have you. That was very disingenuous on his part, seriously. Mm. All of people things were happy about them. Same time we flag that issue. Even if it requires for them to take two, three days to discuss that issue, they will discuss it. Then why when it comes to him, you go to your body the issue and you're playing blank out on it. So that's my point. Thank it was you. not right at all. Thank you. Mo, go ahead. Thank you, caller. Go ahead. Oh, that man gone off with the man money finished. Go ahead. Oh, good. Good evening, uh, thank you, Move. Good evening, you got to increase that volume small. Okay, are you getting me? Yes, go ahead. Thank you very much. This is the voice of Usman and Beke. I'm the chairperson of the United Party Intellectual Response Bureau, and I'm the uh, resident of the National Party. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I, I listened to some of our friends that we should not try to discuss about state of water school. I think it is bad. You know so what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. George Weir, to where a lot of people are stealing their real people money mm -hmm. and they are impacting people's lives. So, should we pray for them to stay in power? This is the question I'm asking. 
No, my, dis my, my, my disappointment is that I'm seeing some of my best friends on social media, on the opposition block, they pray that now pray for status. For what reason? Like you both are saying tonight, that case is very dear for status. I don't think want to survive it. These guys have the audacity to discuss J and B on that platform day and night. So we should not discuss about them. I have no support for criminal. That is a fact. So anything you want to say, let like us say it. Nobody want to pray for them. If they want to pray for them, let like them pray. All right, Chief. Thank you. Let me take this one. Hello there, caller. Go ahead. Hello? Hello, caller. Go ahead. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And see you on comment. Pian, my name is Noah Zawu Gibson. And I'm phoning as usual from Jigga Down, district number two. Uh, to be honest, no one will pray for evil to anybody. And as young Comrade Pia and the rest of others are saying, we are not rendering guilty in the eyes of our public opinion. Uh, we pray that the legal system uh, goes through, I mean, in America, uh, I mean, and he get his day in court. But, you know, they say monkey can leave black hand behind, as we can see in Liberia. This man did the same fake opinion pool one time, and that opinion pool, the stage managed it, Cummins came second to JMB, and they say, even Cummins be president, we are low. No matter how this money president we are is performing, many of us here, we, don't, we do not support president, we are, we are never supporting. But no opinion pool in this country you can do here for coming to be president, we are. That was only on central platform, the very first time for coming to be president. We are. If I did men for coming to be JMB, but they did it all kind of way, but it didn't happen. It came close to JMB in their voice. It created a fake platform, online platform. It was that online platform that had coming be JMB and president. We are. Only coming people knew how to vote on that platform. Only they knew the link there. And let me conclude on this note. Look, Stevie, you said something that made my day. My man, bad soul needs bad medicine. You are ensure that that picture of JMB is placed on our pole. When they temper with it, we must temper with President. We are going to. They country here, yeah, the election going to there, no diplomacy. CDC, they are on seven last people. They're not intellectualizing with winning the election for us. I agree, intellectualism will play a role in some instances, but in most of the, it should be radicalism. That one I let Jeremy Pia for. I love the way this new brother can talk. And that's why I will support him to the to, 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 to the end. And I pray that he must be talking about aspiring for the legislature or some national position. The men are running. You. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying now. I say <laughs> hey, I mean very soon. Okay. I mean, after the election or other subsequent election. All right, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me ten seconds. Okay, ten, say, ten seconds. Me, yeah, just give me ten seconds quick. Let me say let me let me say this. Look. I had a dream last night mm. to tell you how radical the election will be. Mm. I had a dream last night. I was holding gun in my dream. And oh. if you know what it means, for a visual impairment to hold gun, you might know that it's not a, a small thing coming yet. If, oh. they will call someone, if they will call me to turn right all in the election, I will turn right. I mean it. We got to save this country. Thank you. All right, no, I'll be doing turn right. I'll go ahead. on the language. <laughs> because um, this is Kenneth calling you from Seattle, Washington. Um, there are a lot of messages that we always say uh, as Iberian, we say, God, God will handle it, God will handle it. I think the United States of America, God is using America to rescue Liberia from corruption, from liars, from a lot of fake behavior. I see a lot of people when they work in America, and they are so greedy to go by home to maintain power, they try to do a lot of stuff into the people country and they run by home. And now the miracle line is coming after them, disclosing all of the people and not taking the for serious man. That Ocasio is gone. Today, is our, little, our brother, who of course he and myself should be in the same age. And then I see one other guy in Liberia that they say he worked for some big factory over here for many years and it's a bit on here. This guy who has never done anything into that country but went by him with a lot of money 
and saying that he have to be president and people there supporting him. I can say hey, tomorrow God gonna to disclose our other guy to all elaborate people. That is my message. Thank you. Uh call on the line, go ahead. Hey Mr. P, how are you doing, man? This is Wallu. Thanks for taking hey. my call, bro. First of all, I enjoy the show tonight and, and I want to say this. I, I don't think Stanton fully appreciates the gravity of the issue at hand. I mean, if I were him, I would keep totally quiet. But I just want to say one thing. I want us to learn from this moment as Liberians. The Americans attach a higher degree, a substantially higher degree of penalty damages when you commit a crime against the people. And we Liberians have to learn about it. See the fear in this country for Spencer, and I hope that fear can come to Liberia when somebody steals from the people, when somebody disadvantages the people in Liberia. We have to attach this to our country as well. The issue of law enforcement has to be a serious issue. We can't continue to be cavalier about this. And before I hang up, I want to share this to my people in Grand Master County. They are bleed as I've been saying here, you on here. I hope the best one. Thank you so much, <laughs> The great Duano. The great Duano. I'm a good one. 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 Yes, sir. So I listened to, to Moon when he was talking about one of the training issues, and then he said the Senate Mutual Discussion so they have a new body working cluster. Uh-huh. Uh, I've been following the issue. We've made a uh, significant headwinds here in the in the US in the international development cycles, especially with natural resource institution. So we are interested in doing more about what the transformation of the MOU did. Because the MOU had an objective. If you cancel the MOU and the objective is not reversed, then canceling the MOU is nothing. The MOU had a clear objective. That objective was to allow Western Cluster begin the, 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 the exploitation of iron ore without meeting the preconditions. What are some of those preconditions? One, Western Cluster is supposed to present to the government of Liberia a letter of credit, value setting amount of money that the government will hold and deposit. So that just in case there is any environmental problem as a result of their operation, the government would withdraw all that money to solve the problem rather than waiting for Western Cluster. That's one of the preconditions. The second precondition is Western Cluster needed to do a job plan. How much people should, how many persons should we employ, at what time, at what rate, that scared you. First year, second year, third year, number of jobs. Another requirement was project leakages plan. How will Western Cluster, it's a document that has to be approved by the government. How will Western Cluster incorporate small businesses to its operation so that these businesses can be able to thrive even in the absence of Western Cluster? A whole lot is over 33 different requirements that Western Cluster is supposed to have met before the lessons issued by Western Cluster. But they thought that they have meet those conditions that the reason why they said the administration did not issue the production agreements. The MOU said Western Cross the government issued the Western Cross of the production agreements, even before Western Cross of the agreement. So there is no requirement in the MOU for Western Cross to meet to have a production license. Western Cross already has a production license. Western Cross is already producing iron. So canceling the MOU. Why allowing working out of this law any problem? So we're interested in knowing the cancellation of the Does it start the operation and ensure that West Coast meet all those conditions before she can resume operation? Or the just cancel the MOU? So I'm um, I'm Let me answer that question quickly from what I understood. The iron ore exploration or the export Western cluster is currently doing is on the strength of that MOU. So if the Senate nullifies the MOU, then it means that Western cluster should cease operation until everything can be can be done rightly. That's what I understand. Okay, that's that's your understanding, but that's something uh, I think we all need to be concerned about and we all need to investigate. 
I think Senator Dero, if he listen to this program, he can come on before we end. They are there. They didn't want to say they, they notify MOU they did this. Maybe he can come on and say something about it. Oh, Monday, he can come on here and say something about it. But, but good point, Amula. Um, um, you you, you missed a good point. I hope Senator Dero is listening and other actors are listening. Uh, you raised critical issues that we need answers to. Thank you. Uh, let me take this call Hello, caller. Uh, caller, go ahead. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. I'm Ibrahim Kalen calling for Riverside County. Oh, great. Go ahead. Thank you very much. I'm here to discuss criminal. I'm only there in groundbreaking that CDC carry on to say in Riverside County. What kind of groundbreaking? They say they're putting quota from Swan Wing, the court is said, welcome to set to two kilometer rule. They say they're putting quota there because they want to see again. They're is it CDC it. that is putting the quota or the government? The government. The government. So something wrong with that? Yeah, it was kind of argument to this on the UC. They will not agree. That will not encourage them to vote them because they are apart. Oh, okay. All right, Chief. Thank you. Caller, go ahead. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. Uh, good evening, Brother Pia. Yeah, that good afternoon to Brother Pia. Good evening to me. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, Cabinet Savannah, and I do call from Clara Dan tonight, a member of QRM. Our goal is to make George we are a one term president. All right. Uh, you know, uh, you know uh, since I was at school, they kind of all uh, end the situation in fine setting. So they guy knew that the how corrupt he was. Then he was here all of the time on his show, you know, castigating other people that the, the, uh, the leg of the, the late that uh, Daniel E. Cassio. And then he was also used to be on his show, putting more on a reputable pressing leg, Ambassador Joseph Nima Baka. No. The God of Ambassador Joseph Numa Baga was is still on our life. And this God of Ambassador Numa Baga will continue to pit upon everybody who are hatred to him. Don't leave Ome Baga. Don't leave Ome Baga. Thank you. All of your property will be and that will lead uh, to a disaster. You American government? <laughs> yeah. You the American government? Yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, in fact, I even want that that tension to go beyond the or if the unborn generation. Oh, my man, thank you, bye bye. Let me take the one here. Then we will go ahead, caller. Hello. Oh, my man, thank you, bye bye. Let me take the one. Hello, you have to listen to the phone. Hello. Call your, Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my name is Aki Pakistan. I'm coming to you for Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys for the discussion program tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I listen to the other, I listen to Snow on on Eastern Show. Mm. When you read a portion of the text that you hear, Joseph Baron, Joseph Baron said, Yeah, you judge me out to this game. Yeah, check the message. God will pay you. So, I'm going to convey that all those that are far more vulnerable, but when you tackle this issue, God will we then add the food to the bagger become president. Even, even the, the best of the guy in the United States, everything they do there, that uh, reduce our state. Imagine as sophisticated as America is, if something they be caught in an act, why is that guy was in a girl? In our employment, in our governmental center, in our post energy. All right, so you. Well. Thank you. So we wish him well, we wish him well, but let justice be done. All right, thank you. Pia, go ahead. Call on the language. Hello, Minister Pia. How are you doing? I'm okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, I just want to say this to my Liberian people, right? The interest they're taking so much, the, all the energy they're taking to be free for poor people who are robbing them of their life in abroad. I just want to tell them that this time around, their prayer and their whatever will not be the of God. Because... No matter what kind of prayer they do for Staton or whosoever that were involved with corrupt attitude in America, 
They can our Prophet Muhammad, Jesus Christ, Allah, everything on them. This country will deal with you when you are wrong. So let them go ahead and be praying for Samuel to and John we are who looted that country on an industrial scale. And I don't know whether they realize God is not answering them because this time the rock Joseph Parker will beat them, beat them flat. That's my contribution. So let them stop wasting their time on prayer for what people who are breaking system will not forget. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, uh, hmm. Mo, you got call? Yes, I do. Good evening. My name is Carrie Lansua. I call from Gokulu tonight. Go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for the show. It's just that I'm feeling bad because the people in, in Bapulu, they cannot listen to the class we made because they don't have a radio station like a in the program. So I went to one at the shop and then I started to spot in the class reader. The old lady was kind of asking me, who has the program in two months? So I told her, oh, are you are not aware of the class reader? She said, no, we don't know the, the, the program you're talking about. So I'm only appealing for you people that you go to please find one radio station that can read me the program. So the only people can know what's happening. Thank you. Go ahead, all of you start color. You need to listen to the phone and not the device. Hello. Yes, hello. I'm a mother boy calling from the church. Go ahead. Oh. We thank God for the American government for such an action. You know, Spoon Spoon Power was intended to create. You need to load the device. The load lower the volume of the device behind you. So we thank God for what God has done. And I want to say to the and those flag we know that they should be very vigilant. Because there are a lot of force who the government wants to use to create power. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. All right, Mark, you can go ahead now. Good evening. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay, this is a matter here. I what? want to get all the children this evening again for the food that right you're doing for us. When I talk about this man, after knowing he has to call a person because if this were going to be in Liberia, where well, we can just take blood for any minute. You know how many persons there were going to kill? And we just go free and we are not in America. We were not even poor. Well, what's going on? Suppose you are going to get this school in Liberia. And Jesse Pam said, and Jadina as he did in America, she was just going to die for nothing. I got my niece who went to get back last month, December month, and is not a nice getting low class or injection because of the fact that couldn't come, that injection. Here they let get to my own football big until the boss. Here they know they did it. So I said thank you to Jesus Christ. We will just start this issue on the everybody in the interior. So we hear it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my God. Mo, you got color ticket? No, not yet. Okay, then let me, let me do the UK guard justice. Uh, calling for where UK is difficult, so I need, let me, let me, let me do in a favor. Uh, okay, why, why are you getting it? Let me take this call. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Hello, Hello. go ahead. Yeah, this is a for you got to increase your volume. Yeah, I'm a black volume for Morris' phone thing. Uh, the thing you had discussed is so interesting. But we can't hear it up from yesterday to now. We can't hear it on school radio. And this is injustice for the people. But however, that boy got to go the people. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead if you got your caller. Yeah, let me take the man out from UK. Go ahead, sir. You want to laugh? Okay, Mr. Pierre, thank you. Uh, thank, thanks to all the panelists. Uh, Mr. Pierre, you know what I'm mean? No, sir. Hello? 
No, I don't know what happened. The second week in March is the tournament. The second week in March is the tournament. So you first week. Yeah, because Marcel, I have a police academy, I leave police academy, I hold the police academy. So you you are all representing coming representing. So I will got to record with you. Okay, I thank you. Out, I, I promise you one set. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. I got your number more, I'll give it to you. Uh call off from Minnesota, go ahead. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not, you're not, I, I gotta find a way to pull you on. Uh, Oh, just hold on, just hold it on, hold it on. I gotta put you on the, uh, I gotta put you on, how do they call it thing? I gotta, I gotta put you on the, the volume, but uh, I don't wanna cut this thing off. Oh, okay, now you can go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, like I said, my name is Michael Harris, and I call from Minnesota. And uh, related to this Tottenham Water Sport issue, like Bill, you were saying, I watched the show, portion of the show last night, and when they started, they were like doing training issue. And the, the appointment, more and uh, Stanton Water Sport, want to begin, where it's been, who did flow move, why didn't training, what making the news? They talk about Western Clause, and they talk about, I think, Akla Martin case with the Supreme Court ruling, for them, that was the news. They didn't talk anything about that. And then when he came on, he said, they came and asked him, you're going to speak for five minutes. He came on, he spoke. And then he said, you could not talk the duty of the case because your lawyer has a vast not to do so. Then I wonder, I said, ah, do you now know that we're supposed to observe this legal norm when they are in legal, into legal proceeding? How come? Because I recall when Joe Barker was subpoenaed by the court to testify in a CPU from a document case, all of you on your platform, the bank Sanvi, the family enjoy the Dr. Regisim, the Dr. P. Barry, including Stanton himself, they all said it was wrong for Joe Bagai to have gone over to testify. They were telling me that it was right for a statement to disobey the court. Then how can you, Mr. Weatherspoon, now, you telling all that your lawyer says you should not speak, so you don't want to speak. I thought you say it's wrong, it, it was okay for you to disobey the court. How can because it's a miracle because it affects you? So they just show the credibility of these people. I mean, they just do things in their own interest. They sit over there. I mean, you know, they have to do anything like against the United Party. It runs away. But all the people over there last night, they were like, for them, that nothing has happened. They will not mention anything about it. And I just go on well as posting that. Even if they're good and 
when they recently they Joseph uh, uh, Lima Bowie talk about Joe Baca should retire. You always go Lima Bowie too. Uh, uh, the only part is zero. Okay, we'll keep the school for now. We'll, we'll return. Why is he? Why? Why you not up the door with the school? Let him go back to school and start writing. Thank you all so much for the time. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Pia, can I take a call? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Marco. Yeah, thank God to all my children in club. Go ahead. Play a call, play a way off. Okay. Thank God so much for you all. Let God multiply the blessing. Amen. It will be open for we all to see the inauguration of our former power president taking care of the nation to prosecute all the rules. You <laughs> see, he left more fear. Everyone is, you know, you must send your call. I'll call pity them so. I'll call pity them. And I can sympathize with Mr. Spoon. Mr. Spoon, I never called that. What I was, somebody from the second day of the United Party. In front of you, I said, breaking you, breaking you, breaking you. They want to put more and more, 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 yeah, they can pretend when you say breaking the news, they were chaos, and they start to scream, could commit him of being like the former power president, and all of them laughing. Kaka, 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 kaka. Then they said they're breaking, they're breaking you now. Who want to go for Vodena? Who want to go for ANC? Who want to go for chaos? Yeah, I just want to go for the other. Thank you, Bako. Yeah, that's what you can do. thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Steve, I don't have any calls, but I can take two more after this. Yeah, yeah, take two more. Go almost three hours, man. Yeah, Pia, if you get a call, you can go ahead. Call on the number. I'm going to call you. 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 I'm going to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you guys, I know everybody is busy here, but this is the type of you guys doing it. We appreciate it. So if you guys can have maybe one more or two more days to it, then I think that's, that would be good. Cool. I appreciate everything you guys do. I'm listening. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Call on your friend. This will be my second to last call. Go ahead, call on. Good evening. How are you, sir? Good evening. Go ahead. I want to say hi to the class reader that tonight we all have monitoring from Liberia. Mm. And precisely, I'm monitoring from the channel Grand Bazaar County. Yeah. And Jim TV, and Jim TV calling this evening. Mm. And I want to say thank you very much for this, for this, for this program. That guy who has been indicted by the American government. They are giving a whole lot of data degrees that I can't have with these destroy people. Let me give you the information last week ago that the government hospital in Bichana here. Mm. A friend of mine, father, went on an operation. When they were in the, the, the operational room, the generator caught up and the old man died just last week. Just last week. Mm. And then as we learned, the people have given uh, uh, 200,000 United States out of the air tank in the, in the channel. Mm. Why can't they take this in this money to buy generator so that they save people's lives? The old man children now, they are weeping. The battery is now at Dakota. The woman died on operation. The woman is on operation. So oh. these things are being something that the whole people go to America and they have fake documents and then they say they are doctors and then killing people in Liberia. So thank you for the program. We are the class video that will be there. Oh, we are waiting and now we are waiting for you people because you are saying, I'm a good about of the other party. Oh, 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 oh. I have my art because since 2005. Thank you, boss. They, 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 they are method, something they say they are coming to do. We're waiting for all the people to come to our country to follow this program because we don't want to be cheated. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for the program. Thank you. Yeah, I can get a call. You can go ahead. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Go ahead. All right. My name is Mr. Harris calling from California. Uh, first, I want to say thanks to every one of you guys. Uh, secondly, I think what happened to Sado is not, I know it's something that happened and people have been affected 
especially those that have dementia or an institution, especially the sex club, everyone can handle it. But moreover, everyone, a lot of people may have and moreover, um, this is not specific for any by uh, being like Joseph Walker or John Weah, because I think if you go on each and every platform, everyone is tribulating because one hand people spell out, oh, you put more on Joseph Walker, you put more on John Weah, you put more on so because the issue is that we don't have the duty, we just have to look forward to see the outcome of it. I know one person like, but if you if statistically you're looking at 15 or 40 percent, you know, it's already happening with me and you're going to fall right inside. Let me just leave it that green way. Because the people that they don't just bring autism, they dig, 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 dig until even people that are who all work together in the same hospital, they have some the same degree. But the issue is that we don't have to say, oh, because you didn't do to the program, but instead to the program, this is why. Then, you know, get it on. No, it's not that. As a critic, Spoon TV, they focus on everything that happen in our country. So it's not just one person. So we don't have a children because of Joseph Barker. 24 7, I don't know these people jumping or dancing, they happen because of what happened. So, you know, I just try to say it was not just one person, Spoon TV is a focus on. And as a critic, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Pia. My name is Thomas. I'm calling from North Carolina. Make your point. Um, the, the first thing is, I think you all need to start uh, either renting a building or building new classrooms. The second thing is, I think we need to plan for the ONU student game. But quickly to the issue, I think as Liberians, we should all be angry with one of us who has done something that is going to have an impact on all of us. Like Stevie was saying, the nursing fee is one fee where people live from Liberia. You see people who live from Liberia with different careers. They come to this country, and because of the demand in that fee, they migrate to that fee. And when you have a Liberian doing this kind of issue or this committing this kind of crime, it will put all of them under the spotlight, whether they went to his university or his network. So I think we should all be angry rather than say, let's pray for the man and look at the good that he's doing back home. I think we should start to evaluate people's uh, goodness on the source of their income. If you have a questionable income, regardless of whether you build that country into a 21st country, uh, century country, we should condemn you for what you do. So I think to say, let's pray for Stanton, let's pray for him is one of those things we normally say that the library people can give go hard time. This is not time to be praying for, for, for people who commit crime. Awesome. And impact Thank on our you. election, trying to influence the election. Thank I you. think this is something we should we should all uh, condemn highly. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, let me take my last caller. Hello, caller. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. I'm speaking to call back. That fellow I just left for only last call from America. He not he he, he don't see all the lies that can't have and 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 be lying. On the video, you see the radio station to be the one to promote falsehood. You see the you be the one to promote falsehood in Liberia. But what they call us from America, sir? But see the constitution in Liberia. What they call us from America, sir? About the opposition. You need to thank you. Steven, that would do it from my end. And then we'll go ahead. Thank you. I just want to say that the issue people most particularly for for play, you know, if you know, that appearance, that appearance, that do you know this. And okay, from Cassia, that we are going to what I spoke. Some of those, like I said, nobody, we have to, they have to find where the government, the incoming government, we have to, you know, put on that some of the people that will be coming to like, no one to be your nice SST. And, um, you know, they are talking about that, this school that goes through a nice school site in a girl that correct. Because the people are so bad for, um, by there, so the people call him nice doctor. They call him lab technician doctor. You know, and you just, 
having um, med medication for a lot of people and they, they had no idea what and um, giving the poor a wrong medication that have most people die in Liberia because it's depending on the license and things. So my thing is we have to pay attention because the health care system is not somewhere for everybody to just go and play. The human life they are dealing with. They are human life. You know, I hope the U.S. government will be able to block out all those uh, fake devices that they put on. We will be able to block them out. So we will be able to know some of them because we know that the rest of more them, Ghanaians, and foreign, all the all nationalities, and Americans, and all and more them. Oh, thank you. So they can go to Liberia and lie to our people by there and kill them. Thank you. This is very serious. Thank very, very serious. Thank you. Hold on the long way. Yeah, I, I should go ahead now. Yes, sir. Okay, good evening. I'm calling from um, the Charlotte, North Carolina. My name is Augustus. So, P, I got a question. You see, we, we like Brian, we are so, we, I don't know, the hypocrisy the, the, too much in us. What's the difference between Liberian like, like Team America lied to immigration, got the paperwork done, and speaking on Stephen Weatherspoon case today? It's the same thing. Lying to the system, not because we have like, some Liberian like, like Kenya and lie on the paperwork, having been caught by the immigration, so they make it make them better than Stephen Weatherspoon. No, like, no, 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 don't talk something that don't make sense. Look, they, they have not indicted them for anything. So how, how will you be doing hypothetical? If, yeah. if, if, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, how do you know the lie? How do you know the lie, you immigration officer? If Mr. If, if Mr. Waterspoon was not indicted, nobody would be talking about him. So the, right. so the people you're talking about, nobody has indicted them. So the hypothetical, you don't have a case against them. So that's not right. So how you know the oh, lie? Right. You know that so they can't talk about, when somebody is indicted, they can't talk about it? Is that a right issue? Close your mouth and get up on the place, man. Look at that, man. But no. how you know the people lie? For you to know the people lie, yeah. you know what they, you know the truth. Why you know the truth? Yeah, go ahead, brother. All right, so I'll just be very brief. What do you mean in America? They dumb the hell. So what a spoon committed a thing that was not a crime. We pray for him. In this case, Central what a spoon is a legend. He must be committed a crime. Whether we pray for God forgiving, God will forgive him, but the state will punish him for the crimes committed against humanity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why can I follow him? <laughs> See, you don't waste your time on that man. I, I will try to give him this. You, you, when you join hypothetical, is he poking a law immigration case? So who persecuting them? But how you know the law? Who had discussed? Who had discussed Mister Waterspoon until his indictment? Nobody. Mister Waterspoon was not indicted for Sony. Were anybody discussing? No. So if you don't have a stuff to say, don't call and put blanket allegations that people kill a law immigration. Blah blah blah. Maybe you lie on immigration. I mean, how you got here? Because I can. No, 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 you know, it is unfortunate. Moses said, I'll pay it. I won't pay it. I'll 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 pay it. i Ali, Ali that? in Miami. Oh. Ali, it, it, it stopped the, the, the red really? time. Yeah. I think we should end it there. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let end it there because uh, I have to run. Um, Guys, it was a great show. Thank, thanks to you all for coming. Uh, this, this, uh, The issue we discussed today is uh, is trending. Uh, we'll pay attention. The last of uh, news coming. Uh, so, Pastor Mo, Pia, Ali, I want you guys to pay particular Hello. attention to the news, listening to what is happening, yeah. pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, Stevie, let me get to the last call then we'll do, yeah? Uh, go ahead. Uh, my name is Eugene Sullivan here, aka the councilman, over here from Minnesota. Yes, sir. Uh, so the issue, uh, you guys have very been doing well, um, and I appreciate the issue part of discussion. Uh, it's very important, it's fair enough for everybody to discuss everything that goes on in this country. Uh, Stanton Weatherspoon's a good guy, but he's not a celebrator for any issue to be discussed. This guy discussed everybody, everything, in Liberia, in the U.S., everywhere. So it's just fair enough to discuss the issue. I think they are doing disservice to their own network by not discussing the issue. There are a lot of things that he does that we appreciate. 
But by doing good in life does not mean you should be criminal in that behavior. That does not send a good message to our young people. And with the caller that just called from North Carolina, I think that brother is confused. He think we're trying to bring resettlement gate into this country. And we are not doing that. Because resettlement gate is that you're trying to dedicate all the cases that deal concerning America and how people come to America. One place to sit down, my brother, is time to discuss serious issues. When anybody commit crime, we discuss it. And that's fair enough. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Uh, is that double? No, 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 not double. The the person, the last caller is my biological junior brother. So when I told Stevie I had to take this call, is because uh, we're ending, and he's a he's a he's an ardent follower of the show. Yeah, somebody been calling me. One of my man will participate. I told you to call you. I know what you call. Uh, I can't take calls on my phone. What number? What 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 a person? Uh, calls on missed calls. So what if, you, if, you, if you're watching the show, the number is on the show. I don't know what he's not seeing it. The number is on the show. Um, um, the number is on the show. If you're watching, yeah, you say you'll call next time. You wanted to call the number on the show. If you're watching, it's the four zero one number. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's it's done a good show. Um, well, thankfully Ali came on. Uh, to take our course locally, I know the internet situation. And let me announce also that Tupac could not be on. He asked uh, for excuse. He needed to run after some personal stuff. He will be on hopefully God's willing on Monday. Uh, we'll continue to pay attention to this topic. Uh, this is a trending topic. It's evergreen. It's uh, there will be new developments. Um, between now and Monday, we'll pay attention. We'll bring you some updates uh, once we get them on Monday. Uh, we're hoping on Monday to have uh, Ali, what's, what's his name? The Vector Lama. No, no, no. The uh, we, have, we, have, we have Dr. Sakwi Malakpa. Sakwi Malakpa. Yeah, Dr. Sakwi Malakpa. He, Malakpa. he wrote the book From Wasonga to the Capital. That's it, right? Yep. What's yep. up, what's up, what's up? Somebody grab me. Oh, what's up? More on the same, the rest of the call in. The rest of the call in. Come here, 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 come for four o'clock, it means you finish with training issue, all the kind of stuff, and you just go into the program. Whenever okay. he is done, he leaves, and we can continue because he will not stay throughout. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I, I will send you the link on Monday. Uh, uh, yeah, Josh, Josh Lobo will be having a drive uh, by 8 p.m. Uh, after this show. So if you're watching, get ready to switch to the drive. I know it'll be, it'll be hard too. <laughs> these are these are hard topics. And it's been a great show. I'd like to say thanks to everybody who joined us. Uh, the class was on fire today. Uh, we got a lot of new students. Hopefully, they can stay. Um, the class is your home. You're welcome here. Um, we All we do here is to just report the news. Uh, we have no malice against anybody. We have no uh, interest in the downfall of anybody. Um, even we are. We don't hate we are. We just love Liberia more. That's all. So... Uh, we don't come here with the intent to bring anybody down or to uh, speak negative or ill will against anybody. This is why we don't discuss nobody here besides the government. But when your issue becomes a topical issue, we are on an obligation to discuss it. So um, once the issues uh, become topical, we are on an obligation to discuss them. We have no ill will, no malice against nobody. Uh, we... Uh, we we just uh, doing what's right for our country and for the uh, the future of our childrens and children's children and uh, so that posterity will judge all in ways that are favorable. Uh, today has been a wonderful show. Uh, let me say a big thank you to uh, Muhammad Ali who joined us all the way there from uh, from uh, Miami in Monrovia. Uh, Pastor Mo, uh, Pia, your final your parting comments uh, a minute each uh, so that we can uh, can wrap this thing. We've gone three hours, 13 minutes already. So it's been a great show. So uh, Pastor Mo, let me begin with Ali. Since he's in Liberia, before we lose him, Ali, Pastor Mo, and then Pierre. Thank you, Stephen. You know, 
I, I, I had to join the, the, the show back from uh, Lone Star Phone. And, okay. and I was thinking, somebody was still calling it to tell me they want to take part on the show when I'm viewing the show from the, I mean, when I'm on the show from the phone. But let me say it's, uh, it, it was a great discussion and that, like you said, we have no malice against anyone. We are simply discussing issues here and, and we are discussing them objectively like they should be. Um, if any of us if in, is engaged into such issue, I'm sure we will discuss it. I remember one night here when Delone voted for that uh, pension thing. We really gave him here on the show and we, we were clear that we didn't agree with it. We, we expressed our opinion on it. And so we have the right, just as we sit to criticize each other, other people do have the right to criticize her when we go wrong. And in the case of Stanton, we believe the law will take its course. Thank God, um, every one of you believe in the justice system in the US. I know every justice system has its own flaw, but you know they will do their best to ensure that they have the best lawyers and that uh, justice will be dispensed. If they are guilty, well, they will face the penalty. If they are not guilty, I'm sure Stanton and the others, if they are found not guilty, they will have a very huge case against the United States government. I want to say thank you to all of the callers and our participants. Uh, the class reloaded. We'll be back on Monday. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Pia and Remo. Thank you, Ali, and uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, uh, be safe out there. Um, and uh, We'll see soon. I gotta be in town to register to vote. Um, so hopefully we'll see soon. Um, so we can uh now let me tell you something. You know, Ali Ali and myself been been friends for <laughs> for over almost 30 years. And 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 yeah, that's how you know a lot of people don't know. I've been knowing Ali over 30 years. We went to high school together, we even lived together during the war. Ali and I lived together. We used to, yeah, the fun. We used to, so because the food business to be hard, right? Let me share this joke. Food business to be hard. Uh, we have one of our men, he's, he's in this government, uh, Sam Collins. He worked with defense, one of the ministers there. Sam will go to a Uno horse to eat food, right? When you finish eating your food to her, then he will come to our horse to come lecture so that our Uno food, but our Uno food, so he will eat it so that we eat him both foods. So, what me Ali will do is when we get the rice to cook, we will, we will not cook it to the horse, we'll we call on the bullet, we'll creep on the bullet, we'll go all the way down the hole in the room, we'll lift the rug off in the room, we'll let the copa in the room. We'll eat there too. Then we'll cut up the hill, we'll cut water with him to the other one. Let's go. Man, the water and happy with all kind of crazy stuff. But I mean, those were those were good the good old days. Um, yeah, so that's what we did. So we we had fun. Uh, yeah, so we had fun. 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 You muted. <clears throat> it has been a very wonderful show tonight, discussing trending issues. And as the issues continue to unfold, we'll continue to discuss it. And uh, Joseph Borga will have been discussed for about a year. He didn't have a problem with it. And uh, he went to court. He, he was discussed. He was seen as the person who who far in the case. And so if you don't want to listen to the training issues, you don't have to be here. But before we come to discuss issues, or, or we listen to news, we read newspaper, and we come to you. We, know, we are not dwelling on gossip. We are dwelling on the facts, and we discuss the facts. So uh, like, like our brother Stephen said, uh, uh, Information will be posted on the class read pages. You all can go and read it for yourself. But the show would not have been better with all you in Radio Land and you on Facebook. It is because of you all. We are here every day. Right now, I'm at work. 
where I work at the same time, I only show it is because we have to do it for Liberia. We want to see Liberia leave from where it is. We are not being paid by anybody on this panel, but we are being paid by ourselves. We go to work. The other day I was listening to Steve. Steve was in the train starting the show. Yeah. Can, can you imagine? <laughs> he was in the train. That's the obligation. He was in. He said, my man, I'm in the train, but I, I will just start. Young uh, didn't want to get who. And he gets who no time to find food or in no time to sit with your family. Immediately he come on this platform. Or Pia, he too, he have to be in the back at the same time cooking for his family while his wife is at work. That's the obligation. It tells you that none of us being paid by anybody yet, but we owe it to Mama Liberia. We want to see Liberia leave from where it is. And I say to you all, this 2023, we're going to be in Liberia. I will be in Liberia by the grace of God to make my own case for our presidential candidate that is Honorable Joe Boycott. Also, don't forget, those of you in District 5, vote for Mo Ali. There will come a time we tell Mo Ali, bring your case, explain to the people why District 5 should vote for you, and Mo Ali will make the case. If all of you out there, any means you able to support Mo Ali, <laughs> any means you able to support Mo Ali as a bargain to be a representative, support him through any means, he will accept it. Thank you very much. You all have a wonderful weekend and you all stay blessed. See you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mo. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So all of us who are trying to do media, whether we are conventional journalists, mainstream journalists, or political commentators, we owe the public one thing, bring the information to them as they unfold. It is a real disrespect and dishonesty to the core when you are a media outlet and we choose to downplay a particular happening because it is not to your taste and liking. That's evil. Just as somebody checking in the hospital is considered an issue, that must be brought to a media platform. Just as someone having just an ordinary issue with somebody who is their friend, it's important to be brought to a platform. Just as Dr. Cassell's issue, peace be to his arches, I intend, if God gives me life tomorrow to attend his funeral, just as his issue, was discussed, so it is with any of us. So we come talking about this big hell of a news of this indictment for FBI, not necessarily on account of dislike or hate for the individual Liberian citizen who is at the center of it, But because it's news in the public space that should be talked about. And for those of you who can just countenance that, and you call it on show, digging into how people came to America, they made, made false claims to get status here with immigration, you got all these files, put your documentation together and submit it to the authorities in America so they can persecute them. Until you do that, it's a stupid assumption. And that's not the way you defend somebody. Because you don't say something that when you push down to prove it, you can't prove it. What, what I mean, they're talking about something that deplored over 7,600 unqualified people in the healthcare system. Something that generated 114 million. And why you got to compare away with whether somebody lied to, to, to obtain immigration status? 
when people apply for immigration status, there are processes. If the people do those processes and they are convinced that a person qualifies and they bring that person to start out to live here, who are you to come and throw tantrums at them because you want to defend somebody? Nobody has said Mr. Widderspoon is guilty of anything. Fortunately, Mr. Widderspoon is in America. Not in Africa where your judicial system don't work. Where he is, the system works. If he's innocent, you'll be acquitted. Exactly. If he's not innocent, you'll be found guilty. And he knows that the system works. Then we all should look forward to that process. Then I, as a librarian, will be happy if, in the end, there's a verdict that says everything said, but Mr. Waterspoon is false, and he's acquitted. So, don't have so much thin skin that you know you can stand people discussing what you favor. We got to have an open mind. The very widow's point you're talking about. The one caller was saying, maybe a lot of people don't like him. Why? He's a political person. He's discussing everybody. Everybody. Just as he's free to discuss all these people he discussed on his platform. When something concerns him, so too people will be in a position to discuss, not because they hate him, but because he made news, and that news that he made has to be discussed. And it is from that perspective we come. I have been no people who spoon who, who would have spoon have been helpful to He gave a lot of people money. He's doing a great job with that. But is that a substitute? For crime? No. So uh, he's been accused for an alleged crime, which we've talked about now. Let's see how the process unfolds. What I said to him from the beginning as a Liberian, I want to end the same way. If I'm with a spoon, let you not try to adjudicate his case in a court of public opinion, thinking that he has something to prove to the public and therefore he must come out and be on talk show be talking politics, be talking this, be talking that. On an indictment, on an investigation, on a persecution, if you do that, you could just as much say something that will hurt you in the long run. The best thing you can do now, all the people they want to pray for you. Is I am a, yeah, is that their issue? You just need to focus on whatever you're doing now to keep gaining daily bread and supporting your family. Stay in the quiet of your family, you, your wife, and your children. They should be talking together in supplication. Disengage from all these things and let the lawyer do the rest. And in the end, if you are acquitted, hallelujah. If you are not acquitted, it means it is established that you committed a crime and you simply be I'm not taking the penalty there off. It's a good show. Thank you. We have to go. Yeah, that's a good advice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a good advice because that's the uh, that's all you can do. Let your let your lawyer do the talking. Stay in the background. Uh, this case is not between you and the Liberian people. Uh, you owe no explanation. Uh, you owe the courts explanation. So keep your explanation for the courts. Uh, speak to your lawyer, avoid the uh, public spectacle on trying to convince Liberians that uh, uh, you are innocent. If you are innocent, the law will decide. As uh, one of the, uh, the, uh, the chairman of the CPP always say, uh, the law is the law. The law is the law. Musa Benete <laughs> made that case, that, that phrase popular. The law is the law. Um, but I also believe that uh, we we did a we did great justice to this to this topic. Um, we, we spoke about it in length. Uh, we talk about the, the merits and demerits. Uh, we also talk about the uh, the consequences. Um, you're looking at uh, uh, 20 years imprisonment if you're found guilty. Uh, 20 years is, is no joke. You're talking two decades. Uh, those are, uh, by the time you come up, you could witness the uh, the rebirth of Liberia. 
um, a Barca who have been president in <laughs> six years and left, uh, a lot of things will happen. So we can only wish uh, everybody the best. And uh, I like to tell people something. When, when stuff like this happen, most of the times um, we tend to want to stand with the perpetrator than stand with the victims. For us, we stand with the victims. They are the ones who have been victimized by such irresponsible action. Uh, there are families, there are families, thousands of families crying for medical malpractices. Uh, some of them lost their kids. Some some children are born with with with, with several uh, dysfunctional or uh, 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 biological you know stuff, all because of medical reason. You don't even know that maybe some of these very same nurses who obtained these uh, Konosa, uh credentials have been involved, you know, giving people drugs, taking care of families. So we stand with the victims. Um, they are the ones who we should stand with. Uh, if we want to offer prayer, our prayers should be for those who are the victims. Quite too often we forget and think that those who are the person who, or those who are the, the perpetrators, we think most time they are the victim, they are the one who we should pray for. No, our prayer should be towards those who, because of the actions of others, have led to many negative consequences in their life. It's been a great show. As always, I'd like to thank my friend and brother, uh, Jabalini Pia, who knew that a few years, that 10 years later, we'll be on show together to him, talking politics, Pastor Mo, whoever thought our path would cross yeah, uh, be talking on, on politics. Uh, this is all fate, you know. Uh, life uh, life has many twists and turns, uh, events that could lead to some of these. Um, when we, when we enter LDP, I know I was in your company. We used to go stand on the Palau Hall to listen to the great Fidel Castro, you know. Uh, he, was a, he was a tough talking student leader who entered university as young men and women. We used to go listen to PR. Today we are here on a show talking politics together, talking about our country. You know, I think um, it's good. And, and the reason we, we're free to have this conversation is we're not perfect people. Nobody claims perfection. But at least when we had a chance to work for our country, when we had a chance to serve our nation, we did so believing that there is tomorrow. We did so believing that we have a future ahead. You know, I, I'd rather live a comfortable life with integrity than to be wealthy and have no integrity. Uh, this joining called life and all of the vanities it comes with. People get caught up. Flashy cars, mansions, designer wares, all these things, the vanity. You, you, when you die to, today or tomorrow, you, you're buried with nothing. Uh, my friend you always say, um, naked you come, naked you go. And so your 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 that desire for material, earthly possession, material possession, is all waste of time. You're wasting your time. You're not gonna take anything from here. Um, you're not gonna take anything from here. You you leave this world, you're living. Um, as you, you came, naked you came, naked you're going to leave. And so on that note, I'd like to thank you all for coming to the class. I'd like to say thanks to Bush Radio FM 98.1, um, Premier FM uh, 98.1 in Banga, uh, Radio Tupa FM 89.1 in Grand Basso, uh Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Fungiband, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5, and of course, our very own Voice of Gompa FM 106.5. It has been Another fascinating edition of the program, The Class Reloaded. Uh, we come your way Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. Liberian time, and of course, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've uh, been your host, your humble servant, Stephen Johnson, saying, Do have yourself a wonderful weekend. Stay out of trouble, be safe, and uh, enjoy the weekend. It's the weekend, as they say. Um, peace out. Have fun, guys. Let me play some music for our. Listen up to that. They can dance a little bit uh, while we. Friday. Uh, yeah, y'all dance. Let me let me play some songs so y'all can dance. Uh, let me get my GMB stuff ready. Let me get my GMB stuff ready. Oh, man.
come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta wake up some more, yeah? Okay, let's go. The people who are so, the people love to us, the power may betray us. I say we tire with their lies, we tire with their promises that led us to all our damages. We tire with that speech they preach in the and now you need to deceive us. They think we saw it frustrate us. So why can't you lie? Why can't you steal? Why can't you lie? The citizens don't be just tell you that why we go tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that the question that we ask. The people lie to us. The government betray us. No one to trust. My people don't want to hope on. My hope that I have has been broken. So where are the schools? Where are the roads? Where are the guns that they said they were for? But they do selfish. The people tired with their records. See the reason why we ask why the government betray? They have enough of 